It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Greetings, uh, Charlemagne the God here. One half of the brilliant idiots. Our guy Andrew Schultz is in Japan. Uh, Chris says he's lying to the people. What's the name of the sushi place that he went to? Jiro. Jiro, where it's a thousand dollars a table or something like that. Two people, a thousand dollars a table. Supposed to be the best sushi in the world. Andrew Schultz is on Instagram saying it's garbage. Uh, I can't say that he's lying. I just know that whatever everybody likes, Andrew will not like. That's just the way he is. Uh, but uh, Miko is here. Miko Grimes. Hi. And my guy, intern John, is back. Yeah, what up, Dan? We don't plan any of this stuff, by the way. Um, Taylor been asking me all week, you know, who, who I'm going to have on the podcast, who I'm going to have on the podcast. I'm like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> who? Who else is coming? No, Taylor. Who else is coming? Yeah. Who else is coming? Good for the music. Who else is coming? Wait. I'm not going to be here by the time we don't get to I might be, though. I don't know. Salute to my guy, Wayno. Wayno's here already? I thought he told me he wasn't going to be done until 12, 15, 12, 30. That's what it is right now. It's 12 or 5. <laughs> oh, right. Keep up. Okay, I will be here when Wayno gets here. Jesus. By the way. Listen, um, uh, Andrew, I was with a TV executive yesterday. And um, he's sitting down eating. And he goes, yeah, I owe Andrew some flowers. And I'm like, why do you owe Andrew some flowers? And he said, because... Um, because my, my my girlfriend that I'm that I'm you know really into that I'm that I'm really into right now like I'm, she's with me because because Andrew I said really and he was like yeah he was like um Andrew stood her up one day one night <laughs> <laughs> he was like she already had her hair done and she was dressed and so she called me and so we went out and we've been together ever since lit and I'm like. She told you that? Your second choice? Word. Yeah. That wouldn't yeah. hurt your feelings. Why would it hurt your feelings? I mean, it's honesty. Do You guys don't like the truth? Is that what it is? Listen, I'm all for the truth, but I don't understand the point. She probably didn't know they were going to be together forever. She probably called somebody that she knew was good company, possibly good dick, just to vent to about her shitty night, and boom. One man's trash is another man's trash. I'm not cool with that. <laughs> the that, you up text at two o'clock at bar close. Like I think girls know what that is. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, you know it's like okay, everybody else didn't work out. I'm gonna throw my dick your way. Yeah, yeah. come on, man. What? What's the problem? Why can't we? Why can't we I reciprocate? Keep that same energy y'all do to us. No, that the you up text at two in the morning goes both ways, men and women. But I'm not telling you. The only reason I'm texting you is because uh, every other girl passed on me. Zone. It wasn't. I'm sure it wasn't like that. It's probably a friend zone situation. Well, they've been together ever since. Boom. That's all that matters. And he said he's going to send Andrew some flowers. Flowers, though, is weak. Yeah. Nah, that's flowers is weak. <laughs> when I told Andrew, <laughs> I was texting Andrew yesterday telling him, and he was like, damn, she was cute, too. <laughs> 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 okay, where do we start? Oh, man? I don't want to start gosh. too heavy, but I feel like we have to. Go ahead. Get it out the way. Only, only because, you know... Uh, I, I have very bad anxiety about stuff like this anyway. This is the reason I don't like to be in too many public places where there's yeah. a lot of people. Um, you know, in turn, John, Chris, y'all might be like two of the only white men I trust, like to just be, I'm serious, mm, yeah. like to like, like be around. Cause I just don't know when white males are going to flip the fuck out and start shooting everybody. I'm being yeah. that serious. No, I feel you. I feel you 100%. I don't get it. It's just what it is. This country has always been like that though. The white man is always, no shade. That's but okay. <laughs> the white man has always been the terrorist in this that country. That is a fact. I don't Period. know why. And, and, I, and it's the, the craziest thing in the world to me is how they have convinced the world that everybody else is it's a threat except yes. for them. Yes. Mm -hmm. We explain are, your people, John. Explain I can't people. explain that. <laughs> I, no, I've always thought it was like weird. Like when there always is the mass shootings, that it's usually a white guy in, his, in schools, and there's no question as to why is that happening. So obviously, it's either we're hiding other shootings, or it is just that. And if it is just that, the what? Why aren't we figuring out why? Like what's yeah, triggering yeah, yeah, that? Yeah. The, the problem, the reason you can't figure out a why is because everybody uses these things to their own political advantage. Mm -hmm. So whatever sure. agenda they're trying to push, they put behind these mass shootings. Like I can watch Fox News and agree with some of the reasons they think the mass shootings happened. And I could turn to CNN and, you yeah. know, uh, MSNBC and agree mm -hmm. with some of the reasons that mm -hmm. they think that the shootings happened. And guess what? None of them are wrong. No. Like, I think it's whack for people to be trying to dismiss the mental health issue. You know what I mean? When they're like, white supremacy is not a mental health issue. I can debate that. 
I think it's I, pretty stupid and absolutely. pretty yeah. insane to not like somebody just because of the color of their skin. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think it's more, I think it's easy to influence somebody who's already dealing with some type of pain, who's already dealing with some so type you, of hurt, some type of trauma. Yeah. So you feel like racism is a mental health issue? I've always thought that. I'm sure I've said that on this podcast a million times before. To hate somebody just because of the color of their skin. It can't just be learned behavior. Some of it is learned behavior. Yeah. I do agree with that. Yeah, that's I what I think the majority of it. I think that there's obviously people that have mental health issues. Some mm-hmm. of them are, you know, a little bit crazy. I, I, I remember a lot of the stories coming from white men just mad that a girl dumped him and wouldn't talk to him or, yeah. you know, and then they shoot up. That sounds a little mental. But when you say you're shooting people because of their color, their skin, I don't think that's a mental health. I think that you are just an angry person and you were taught this type of anger. And now you're going out and, and displaying the anger instead of just verbally talking about it. Now you're doing something about it. I don't think that's a mental health issue. But don't you got to be a little off to be that influenced to go do something like that? Like, don't get me wrong. That but- means racism is off that means you're off if you're yes. a racist like that's what that means I, I, like to, to walk into a Walmart and just shoot 20 random people yeah. I think you need a psych evaluation immediately especially put your own life away then like go to jail for the rest of your life you can hate people without getting locked up yourself you yeah. know what I mean I think that's I agree there's a little bit like something's gotta be off to be like I don't even care if I get shot with this or yeah. somebody go to jail I don't give a damn I'm gonna do you can hate from the sidelines without getting in the game. <laughs> yeah. you know exactly. I mean? You can buy season tickets to the hate and, and hate from the booth, but you don't got to be on the field tackling people. Exactly. You know I, mean? I think something's going to be a little... I respect that. It's a I lot of know. people that hate people in 2019, but they're not trying to harm them. They're not trying to hurt them. I think when it gets to that level of you, you want to harm somebody, you want to hurt somebody, and you don't care what happens to you because you mm-hmm. know there's a good chance you could... You get killed, yeah. At the least, yeah. Right, I'll spend the, no. Get killed at the worst. Spend the rest of your life in jail at the least. And your family have to explain it that you were the one that raised. Absolutely, you, they had no idea. Like that's like I couldn't even imagine. I get embarrassed like talking shit on the radio. Of my mom, oh I can't imagine God. if she had to, like deal with an actual like crime. Like I for the rest <laughs> of my parents' life, like they, you're the one that raised the idiot. I saw somebody oh, say something yeah. like that. They was blaming it on the parents. I don't know if I can put all the blame on the parents. I feel like there's probably signs, but you probably wouldn't assume it. And what yeah, other signs? I can't, there's like, especially as a mom. Yeah. Nobody's you raising their child raise to be a, a mass you can, shooter. You can actually raise a child amazingly, like in a great way. You can do everything right and they can still be a fuckhead. Yes. Period. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Or they could just snap at some point. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm not just, I can't dismiss the mental health aspect of it, but I'm not going to dismiss, you know, what people say when uh, Donald Trump was saying the, the, the movies and the video games, like yeah. American culture is violent. Is violent. Yeah. Oh, we've like, been from the beginning. That's how they took the country. Yes. Violence. That's the history and the culture of this country is violence, taking things, killing people, doing what the hell you want, changing the laws. That's why I laugh whenever I hear people talk about immigrants in this country. Like this whole country is, is built with immigrants. Absolutely. Like why are we even, how do we even say who shouldn't and can't be here how how this country is is the one country that i feel like shouldn't be able to do that we should make ways and laws and rules and you know we have to control the population in a way but to say that an immigrant can't come over here when this land is stolen is yeah. ridiculous to me i agree with you but I, like i said I, I, mental health uh racism bigotry mm. um what else did i fucking say mental health racism Bigotry. Oh, the glorification of violence in yeah. America. Mm-hmm. And the fact that there's too many motherfucking guns on the street. Yeah. America's created a problem yeah. that they can't control anymore. Ain't yep. no two, ain't no putting that two face back in the tube. Nope. You that cannot. That's over. over. Anytime we try to regulate anything, it's always made things worse. Like prohibition, brought on the mafia, the war on drugs. Like even if you want to take the guns off, how are you gonna take the guns away? And you know you what? Know what I, mean? I don't I don't agree with taking the guns. Let me, me just be I love clear. My right. What I do agree with is taking assault rifles and automatic, sure. you know, weapons that shoot a hundred bullets in two minutes. What do we need that for? Yeah, I don't understand. Even when motherfuckers say they need that shit to hunt. Why the fuck no, you tearing up all that good meat? Yeah, 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 I don't even believe in hunting either, <laughs> just so we're clear. Why I not? don't. It's, it's Because to me, this is how I feel. You eat People, meat, right? No. Oh, <laughs> eat eggs. Okay. I eat mind. crab every now and then. But listen to this. Think about this for one second. You're a lion. You're a deer. You're whatever. Minding your business in your habitat. And somebody gets to put on camouflage and sneak shoot you. What I respect about hunting is, is if the animals got an alert to know humans are on the premises, you can hunt their asses too. Make it an even game. I'm pretty sure lions hunt humans. No, yeah. I'm saying. Like I'm they pretty should, sure if you take smell. your ass in the jungle, but, 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 you're not coming out. We, they don't know when they're being hunted. They're minding their business. No, I don't believe that. And somebody shoots them. No, you ever been hunting? 
Them I've Diz know. I've watched it. No, them Diz I've know. Watched yeah. it. No, Diz D- know what dog. time it is. But D- I-, I feel like it's not fair to shoot an animal that's in their own natural habitat, minding their business, trying to live their life. That's not really gamesmanship to me. It should be equal play. The animals should know you there. They It should be an understanding, and they should be able to hunt your ass too equally. I and that would make that. hunting legal for me. I can see why you say that, but you, you can't never... put none of that camouflage on. You can't hide in a tree. You can't do none of that. You walk your ass out there with your gun. And whatever you kill, you and you can get it back, get it back. But you, you know, that's that, that's sucker shit to me. I, I hear what you're saying, but you ain't never had no deer hash. If you had some goddamn deer hash, <laughs> you ever had some deer hash? If you got it the right way, meaning you went out there and you didn't do no sucker shit and hide yourself and camouflage and you got the deer, cool. But I don't see that's almost like a sucker punch. Imagine Nick nah, saying he right. beat your ass and you're all right. he really did was come from behind and punch you without you knowing. Did, did he? Did, did he really whoop your ass? Is he better fighter than you? Does he taste good? He though? definitely whooped my ass. I mean, he didn't give me a fair opportunity. I mean, it's not a fair opportunity. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah. how I see hunting, honestly, and I don't I think it's fair. So if that's the case, you shouldn't have a gun then? I know. You should have to kill the animals. You should have to kill yeah, yeah. whatever's out there in the wild, whatever's out there, because that's what they're doing. That had to happen at some point in life. Like clubs and stuff, and that's how yeah. they made like, the spears and stuff. Yeah, but they can smell you, though. That's the other thing. Like My brother goes hunting where wears deer urine, so they can't smell his ass. I'm like, that's a little too far. See, that's no, just, deer's you know, know when you're there. Deer's be on alert. You're way too far to kill some innocent animals that don't even know you're there. It's just too much. How long you been vegan? I'm not a vegan. I, I live a predominantly plant-based life Talk is what I call Break it. Break that down Because vegans eat Oreos and Twinkies and all types of goofy shit like that. I don't eat any of that stuff. Because you told me some wild shit earlier. You told me that fucking eggs are period. Period. Yes. Chickens, period. Yes. Yes. You were like, why are eggs healthy? I don't understand why it's not healthy. And oh, I said yeah. to you, I said, imagine your girl. She has fallopian tubes, right? And, and she, she leaves, she drops an egg each side every, every month. They alternate. That egg is the yolk. Of your that of your egg. So why can't I scramble? Eat? Period. Blood. Then? <laughs> you can do whatever you want. No, you can't. Yes, you can. <laughs> you can scramble the lining. Of- Try it. I bet you could. I bet you if you put some butter on the pan and and take a take a tampon, squeeze the blood out of it. I bet you could probably scramble that up. Go That's ahead. a good social experiment. <laughs> Go ahead. Not today. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying in general. I would like to see if you can really scramble the eggs because I don't believe that an egg is. A chicken's period. It's the same yeah. thing. It's it's actually an egg that a chicken is dropping to have a baby. It's don't the same white, thing. That shit don't come out of y'all, does it? That's the blood. The no, lining that we shed in our <laughs> vagina and our uterus that comes down, that's the egg whites. I'm talking about the shit you can crack, like take the white shell. You know, yeah. We're not in a shell, though. Like, it's different. You know, you got to you gotta think a little bit. It's and the babies same. don't come out of eggs? Yeah, our babies do. Yes, the, the chickens become, they become No, I'm talking about human babies don't come out of eggs. No, because we, we carry them in our stomach. This is our egg. Yeah. This is the shell right here. Boom. You want to see my C-section scar? Cause this... I, I see one every day. My wife has one. <laughs> but this is our shell right really? here. That's essentially what it is. I mean, it's cool. You can keep eating them, but you don't, no, you my, don't need eggs. My guy, he just t- he told me that eggs are, hold on, this is Dr. Sebi's grandson. He said eggs are no good for you because they create mucus and it causes mm-hmm. high blood pressure. And mucus is the first for any disease is a mucus. It starts with mucus, any disease. That is a fact. That and I so know. if you're going to eat mucus, things that cause mucus, you're, you're increasing your chances of getting a disease, period. But it tastes good. That's like dairy, milk, butter, cheese, all that is mucus. I don't like dairy. I don't like dairy just because it makes me shit. I don't. I feel dairy. like anything that makes me shit isn't good for me. I don't <laughs> eat dairy because it came from an animal. No, no other species eats drinks milk from another mammal besides us. Who else does that? No That's one. True. Listen, breast milk is so good, too, ain't it? Bro. Is it? Yeah. What? Wait till you have, wait till you, wait till you get I'm a girl just, pregnant. And you fire. have some kids. That shit is so good. What's One it? of my favorite things to do is like when my wife don't have her pump and like we out of town and I got I get to suck the breast milk myself. <laughs> I love it. What's, it. what's it taste like? It's, it's like kind of sweet. It's, it depends on her diet. Yeah. It all tastes different, but it depends on her diet. So if she eat a lot of flaming Hot Cheetos, it probably won't taste uh, that so it's good. it's like come for a dude then, like that pineapple thing? Yeah, kind of. But whoa, people whoa, whoa, think whoa. they eat one. Let me tell you something. It's like come <laughs> for a dude. <laughs> yeah, come. Like guys' nut tastes different based on their diet. You would you shouldn't know that. I know pineapple that. Pineapple allegedly makes it. That's what I've heard. Yeah, I've heard you eat pineapples in your 
Yeah, yeah. But that, that, let, me, I, let me say something about the pineapple. People think they eat a couple of slices of pineapple and suddenly their shit is different. No, it's a lifestyle. You have to be consuming these fruits and things over time. Mm. It's not like, oh, I'm out of fuck so and so today. Let me drink yeah. this pineapple juice. Yeah. I'm sure it don't yeah. work like that. No, it doesn't. I like when my wife drinks a lot of liquor because you know when she drinks liquor, she still got a pump because she's not gonna. Get yeah, that she baby. can't. Yeah. yeah, I get to suck that out. You nasty dog. <laughs> Breast milk good is a motherfucker. Yeah, but you nasty milk. that you be and like that shit make you feel Ooh. strong. Oh, I'm getting Jamal some Lewis of used to do that jeans. stuff when he was playing for the uh, the Falcons. He would drink breast milk after workouts. If you're gonna drink any milk, it should be from the titty. Think yes. about that. You people Can't will make literally your dick hard. people will literally drink <laughs> cow's milk, a stranger cow they don't know. But if you pull a stranger titty out somewhere and be like, "Suck this," they'll be like, "That's disgusting." But you drinking cow's milk? What's the difference? Yeah, I don't, I don't like. I can't do the cow's milk. That shit make that shit get me the runs. I can't do ice cream. I can't do none of that. shit. You shouldn't be. No, it's just not for us. And breast milk does make you feel strong. I promise you, it's like your energy <laughs> shoots up after you drink it. Like you feel the difference in your yeah. body. Like it's, it's mother's milk. Yeah, yeah. Like a squirt gun. Or be, how does it work when you suck on it? Does it take a while to get going? Mm-mm. You just it's suck right it like you're sucking the titty. No, as soon as you right. I haven't done this out before. As, soon as, as soon as any any. <laughs> My nipples getting hard now. That's funny. As soon as anybody, out, girl. Me. as soon as the baby or even your man comes near your breast when you're um when you're um, breastfeeding, yeah. when you you your breasts naturally react and will start to like squirt naturally. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like anytime I if I, my son wasn't even sucking, if I just held him by my titty, it would just start leaking because it can sense him there. Oh, wow, okay. And it's like it like tells the body yeah. like it's time to feed whenever you you can feel that energy. It's and, and I think it gives you a different connection with your with your woman. That's why you know the kids are so close to the mother because yeah. they was on that titty. Yeah. And I think it's the same way with a man because I get jealous when I see my eleven I'm month old sucking on the titty. Now. I'm, done. I'm dead serious. You had to work for that shit. It works hard. <laughs> yeah. Why she just get to get that whenever she wants? <laughs> she needs nourishment. She needs to grow up. These, that is, these, that is this true. is important. You don't. You were already a grown up. Why do we do that? Why don't we drink more breast milk? Because we're stupid because it. we're brainwashed because the Food and Drug Administration has told us that cow's milk gives us all this vitamin D and calcium, which is the dumbest shit ever. You can get way more from plant-based food. By the way, that's been proven so fucking false that's, over time. Well, yeah. That milk don't make do a body good. My son At got all. wrote up. My son got wrote up in school one day, and he came home. He was so scared. He thought he was in trouble. And I was like, "What the fuck did you do?" And he was like, "The teacher said that you know I was being disruptive." And I was like, "What happened?" They were having a nutrition class, and she told them that if you don't get a certain amount of ounces of dairy in your diet every day, that you can't grow up big and strong. My son has never had dairy in his life. He's wow. eight years old, and so he raised his hand and was like, "Oh, that's not true," because he's the tallest kid, biggest in the class and wow. he's like I've never had dairy and she said oh that's just because you're allergic this doesn't count for you and he was like no 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 so he wouldn't let her get away with it and so she said that was disruptive that he kept mm. trying to correct her that's you goddamn right so I went up the there ass teacher so I went up there and I told her your little write up rip rip rippity rip no he he checked you. Get your facts together. I understand you have a curriculum you have to teach but when it's false and a child checks you you just got to take that L mm. That's my problem with America, too. When we go so hard with these mass marketing campaigns, mm-hmm. but won't admit when we wrong. Like, where's the know. campaign that's telling people, you know what, milk doesn't really do a body good. Yeah. You can't destroy the milk industry. You see what happened to Oprah when she tried to destroy the beef industry. Remember that episode back in the I, day? I, I, I would <laughs> bet that the milk industry probably is already discredited. That's why if you, if you go into the grocery store now, and I'm, maybe I'm tripping. Because maybe that's just what I'm focused on. I see more almond milk yeah. and other types but of milk. But that's because than they're finally, shit. yeah, they're finally allowing, like, you, you never see those commercials and stuff, though. You don't because they won't oh, allow them in the industry. They won't allow yeah, the commercials. They got the silk joints, the silk almond milk. You don't milk. see that. You yes. don't see those commercials. I think I've seen almond milk ones before. Yeah. Barely. Maybe. Yeah, Barely. Much, a little bit. Barely. And that's because the milk industry is like, get the fuck out of here. We're making too much money for y'all to come in here and try to take this money from us. Fuck milk, bro. Fuck it. <laughs> What else we got, Taylor? Run me down. I just need a I need a uh, refresher. You said what? She said it's right oh, in front shit. of you. Oh, <laughs> shit. Do we give a fuck about ASAP being home? We He's can talk about back, it. Right? I wouldn't come back if I was ASAP. Why would yeah, you go back to Sweden? Do. Alex ain't going back do. to Sweden. I know no. Alex better not. Why the fuck would you go back? Oh, you know, he was locked up in Sweden. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes, when? he was. Like recently? Eight months ago. 
Oh, I wanted to ask hey. you something, Alex. Grab the mic, cause I wanted to ask you something, right? He said, "Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> it don't have nothing to do with your butthole." Listen, <laughs> do you think ASAP got preferential treatment? No, he had to do. He had to deal with everything I did. Okay, so how long? Time. How long were you locked up? Twenty eight days. Yeah, he was locked up about a month. And so he, they charged me, but they gave me time served. Got same you. Thing, same thing they did. Same exact thing. So he got no preferential treatment. None. No, no. None of the Donald Trump shit. No, that didn't. That didn't. didn't help. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was going to hurt, actually. Did you tell Andrew that? Yeah. Okay. Because he's he, in contact with that team. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because yeah. Andrew's kind of acting like Trump got him out. No. Oh, you know yeah, how yeah, he yeah, is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah. <laughs> how do you feel about the stuff he said? That there's so much controversy about him saying, you know, he lives in Malibu and Beverly Hills. He don't care about, you know, Michael Brown and that that's not his world. You know, how do you feel about him saying that and then wanting the culture to stand for him or ride for him when he's in a similar situation? Well, I don't know if he asked the culture to stand for him. I well, think- that's just the, what's what was happening on social media. Is like, yeah, how come I, y'all nobody's like you know free uh, ASAP? I didn't um I didn't like his comments that he made about Ferguson. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but you know for me, that whole situation that happened in Sweden wasn't about ASAP Rocky. It was about justice. Mm-hmm. So if you're a human being that stands for justice, it don't matter who is for or who is against. Those aren't even my words. Those are Malcolm X's words. Mm-hmm. So it's like I didn't care that he made those comments. What happened to him in Sweden was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And that could be any black man in any, mm-hmm. you know, any situation like that. So I wasn't standing up for ASAP Rocky necessarily. I was standing up for what was right. But can you see the correlation though? Mike I, Brown, I, that was that could happen to any of us. Yeah, and, that, and, and maybe ASAP will realize that now. So you feel like this kind of taught him something? I, I mean, I don't know. I haven't heard him speak. I would hope so. I would hope that after spending 30 days in Sweden and seeing how black people came to your defense, you would know, bro, whether you agree with what happened in Ferguson or not, don't go against your own people. Mm-hmm. I'm so sick of that shit. I'm so sick of people cutting off their nose despite their own yeah. liberation. Like, that's what they're doing. Like, they're really going yeah. against the, your own liberation, the liberation of your people. When you see somebody fighting for somebody that looks like you, don't get in their way. Because they're helping your dumb ass whether you realize it or not. I know you don't watch the NFL. But, I do watch. Oh, Watch. Oh. You know who Champ Bailey is? Yeah, I know Champ Bailey. Champ Bailey just was inducted. I told y'all to watch the NFL. I don't, I don't know that you do. I never really see it on your social media. I'm a that's Dallas Cowboy fanatic. I know you are, but that's yeah. Dallas Cowboy. That doesn't mean you watch the whole NFL. I do. I just fell back this year because we was fake protesting. <laughs> <laughs> the Hall of Fame happened this weekend, and mm-hmm. Champ Bailey, um, in his speech, he said, um, he, he, he just basically talked to all his white players in the NFL and friends and everything. And he said, whenever we tell you our stories, believe us. He had a whole speech, but the most important thing that he said was black people. If someone is campaigning for us, riding for us, you know, you know, trying to do things to help us and you don't agree, just shut, shut up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the Forever. fuck up. Mind your business. Go, go that way. Like, why do you have to say you're against it because they you gotta, don't agree? Because they got to look good in front of Massa. Massa. They got to tell you, they got to show Massa. Massa, I ain't like them, Massa. Yeah. I'm not like what you're doing for us, Massa. You keep this super warm, Massa, and you let you me stay in You give us all the, the best parts of the pig. That's all, Massa. I, I don't know them over there, Massa. I'm cool yeah. over there. I, I like it over here. We, we going to we gonna those. get them, master. Yeah, it's a guy. I, 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 I was, my man, salute to my man Colin Kaepernick. Salute to uh, Nessa. We was all sitting around the other day, and they put me on to this um, Haitian rebel. I don't want to miss miss misquote the story, but it's a Haitian rebel named Bookman. And what Bookman did when he was rebelling in Haiti was one of the <laughs> first things he did was start killing all the sellouts. Mm, that's what you got to do. He knew the main thing that was keeping them from liberation and being free was going to be his own people. Yeah. And he went around killing all the goddamn sellouts. Yeah, I wish we were still living in those times where you could just kill somebody like that because now we have to just... <laughs> yeah. Now we have to just say, you know what, we can't take everybody with us. You know, you got to, like, try to ignore them or push them off to the side, but they still can talk. They still can we talk, We can't man. kill them now. It's, it's, even, <laughs> it's even worse that they can talk yeah. because they're on... Platform well, sometime. Big platform. Big platform where, 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 where all of them. America hears them. And they're like, oh, things ain't that bad because I saw that nigga on Fox saying this. And I saw that one on CNN, MSNBC saying this. Like, So people don't take our plights seriously sometimes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why it takes people in certain positions to say, no, this is 
This is still what's happening right now. Mm-hmm. You know? Today. What yeah. do you think of your people, John? <laughs> yeah, I knew that was coming. I mean, <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I mean, I'm listening. I'm, I'm John listening, is over. Learning. I liked him already. You know what I like about you? I have just met you today, and we have a real nigga dialogue right now. Yeah. And you are observing like a motherfucker. Like, They're you ain't over learn. here trying to, like... It's just I like that people. Whenever somebody's hearing two black people speak and they're not black, yeah, and they're engaged and they're observing, you know, the situation, and everything. I like that. I feel like you're you're learning right now. Well, when it's in and wax, though, I turn it off. I'm like, I'm not learning anything from this shit. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I mean? No, I want to tell you what this, this is. My this is my homegirl Maggie Olson. She's a principal in Milwaukee. White woman. You know what I'm saying? Another white person I trust. There's some white people I do trust. She said this earlier today, and I thought this was real. She said, white supremacy is real. White people cannot be silent. We must be the strongest voice in fighting it. Yeah. And I truly feel that way. That's we, the only way it's going to change is white people have to, because this is, we, don't, we don't have enough. It's like, it doesn't matter what we say. We need them to acknowledge it and we didn't, fix it. We didn't, we didn't create, create this shit. problem. We didn't create it. So how can we be the motherfucking solution for a problem we didn't mm-hmm. create? Like, it got to be white people who know better than their forefathers did. Yeah. And they got to restructure and change this shit. But that's why I, I, I don't know if you agree, but that's why I feel like desegregation was our biggest do- downfall 100%. as a people. Yeah. 100%. Because you know what would have happened if we would have stayed, you know, segregated? Black people would have had the most popping towns. Like popping. Before. Just be clear. I talked about best it on my food, podcast, yo. Best dressed. Yep. White people would have still loved our culture. All the clubs, clubs, concerts. They'd have still been trying to come yep. to the, 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 whatever our they would have called it. schools. What do you think they would have called it? Everything, huh? They would have still been calling it Little Africa or whatever. They'd yeah. been coming. And you know we would have saying? our own culture. We've lost our entire identity in this country. And I, yes. and I do believe a lot of us were born here. Mm-hmm. We didn't all come over here on slave ships. But what we what was taken from us is our culture. When you look at, like I drove through New York today. I live in L.A. I live in Florida. Every single town in America has a, a like Korea town yep. or China you know, town. Chinatown. Ain't no black town. Ain't no Africa town. We don't even have our own little networks in other cities like city to city like other cultures we have lost ourselves yes. completely yes. because of desegregation yes and that and, and and i think that not only will we would have this i really think we would have the strongest communities especially if they would have kept things the way that they were when like the nation of islam was heavy in mm. certain communities you know what i'm saying and yeah. teaching people knowledge itself you know i think that we would have had the strongest communities but like i said i think that all everybody would want to come to our shit. Yeah. Because it's like how they steal our culture like, now and every, love our culture yeah. now and embrace our culture now. They would want to be around the cool shit. Yeah. You would have the coolest towns in the world. It would be fun. And, and when you say, you know, you wish, like when I say like desegregation was our biggest issue, what people take from that is, oh, you hate white people. No, I don't. I feel like we would have all been, been fine like that. I think that white people and black people would have respected each other a little differently. Yeah. They would under, they would see us, our flourishing community, so they wouldn't be able to say black people are lazy. Yes. Oh, you guys don't work. You don't want to do anything. Yes. We will police ourselves so you would see how we regulate each other and how we treat each other. That doesn't mean that I don't want to communicate or congregate or even engage with white people. I just want them to see us how we're supposed to be, how we were before we were brainwashed into believing we're nothing. And by the way, every time we've tried to build those communities, they burned them down. White man has burnt them shit down. Yeah. Literally. Black Wall Street. Uh, I can't remember the place. I can never remember the place in North Carolina. The, the, the Bron- was it Bronzeville? Bronzeville in Chicago? But I can't remember There's the place. There's been North about Carolina. four or five yes. lynchings of our, our communities to to let us know that they could do that whenever they want. No one's going to jail for it. There's wait, nothing. Well, wait till they make the Black Wall Street movie. That's why movies are so important because you know, niggas don't learn no other way. Let's be for real. Like, if it ain't entertainment, if it ain't meme and entertainment, like, people just don't learn, especially black people, right, in a lot of cases. So it's like, wait till the Black Wall Street movie gets made and you see this thriving community. I think a lot of us don't even realize that that was a thing. Yeah. Our own lawyers, own doctors. Dentists. Dentists. Schools. Hospitals. Yeah. Schools. Like, and white man did what he always do. Send the white woman in to fuck it all up. <laughs> for real, that's what happened. White woman accused, uh, screamed rape. And they went around looking for the people that raped them and raped the young lady, which never happened. And mm-hmm. they ended up burning the whole motherfucking town down. Yeah. 
I mean, that's my paraphrase of it. But, yeah. Okay. You know, yeah. Yeah. I, I think. It. Yeah. I it's think it's not a movie. Hasn't it been made not, yet. It's just being, oh, it's oh yeah, yeah. You know, you can read about it though. Yeah. You can read about it. Black yeah, Wall. Yeah. Black Black Wall, Wall Street. Street. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's gonna be the last movie. I just hope it's done right. I hope that that it's done properly because my biggest issue with a lot of our stories is mm -hmm. they're not. We're afraid to be real truthful like all the way we try to soften it so that it's polite I want it to be brutally honest like real I think they've been doing that lately I think it started with um, Birth of a Nation by Nate Parker yeah you know even though y'all got Nate out of here for no I, goddamn I, reason that, I was so mad about that it's, it's the same exact thing that you got Nate out of here Nate was like the first me too times up situation yeah you know what I mean and it was so the Nate Parker situation was so crazy to me because that whole situation was a black liberation story. Like, first of all, the, the story of Nat Turner is a black liberation mm -hmm. story. But how Nate Parker raised the money himself to, to shoot, shoot that, that film is... was a black liberation story, yeah. right? Man. And it's like, yo, we really let this system... First of all, they didn't want that story to be told. Because that's the last thing they want y'all to do is liberate yourself financially, uh, mentally, emotionally, mm -hmm. spiritually, they want you to be dependent on whatever this system has taught us. So it's like, when you saw that happen with Birth of a Nation, and I had a lot of different people, man, hit me up, like, higher ups and say yo this movie's coming out we gotta get behind this movie yo we gotta protect this guy they're gonna try to lynch him whatever whatever and then they hit Nate Parker with oh he's got a white wife yeah I didn't get too much traction on social media a little bit here and there like ah oh, whatever yeah. I wanna see Birth of a Nation the next one was oh he, he made a homo somebody. no no that wasn't oh, the, that, 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 that was, was the third one that was the third one the yeah. second one was homo oh he made homophobic comments back and I'm like this dude been doing movies for 17 years and all of a sudden you wanna bring back his homophobic comments uh, they brushed that back but then here came oh the he rape. raped somebody and which he did college, which he got found not not guilty, guilty like of, a motherfucker, like, <laughs> and freaking buried him. That's they it. Buried him with, with something that he's not even guilty of. And listen, I, I everybody was saying that he was too defensive when he would do interviews. You got to think he was the first. You know what I'm saying? He was one of those first yeah. Me Too. Yeah. It was tough for times him. of cases. And if, if you're if you're if you know you're innocent, and you've been found yeah. not guilty. You About like heinous crime. Yes. I wouldn't have even responded. I would have been like, suck my. Dick. And <laughs> you also, this is happening at the biggest moment of your, your career. career. Yeah, yeah. You done busted your ass for you years. You done raised money to to make this incredible Come on, movie. man. And so now they Fox. bringing up some shit from college that you were found Come on, innocent yo. of. I, I'm going to be honest with you, I still don't know how we fell for that one. I mean, honestly, I don't know how the culture you know fell I, for that. You know what I learned? We, as a culture, like, we try to come together and do all this stuff. We try our best to get our people on the same page and, and to do this, do shit right. And we can never do it. But the one time we can come together is when we want to cancel one of our own fucking people. And that, That's crazy. You, you, like, the white man. <laughs> The white man, John's people, yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> got <laughs> Nate Parker to fuck up out of here, and we fell for that. We shit. Fell for it, like fell for. Birth of a Nation got buried. Yeah, that was a great. I think it's still movie. on Netflix now. If that I'm was not mistaken, a great movie. I cried in that movie, and I'm a thug. They, but listen, you know what, I'm saying? what did that movie automatically made you want to liberate yourself? Yeah, in some way, shape, or form. You're yeah. like, man, fuck that. I would rather, you know die for something as opposed to just go through this yeah. type of treatment and then once again that man raised his own money so imagine that would have been a success imagine yeah. that film would have done a, that uh, did a hundred plus million dollars other people want to raise their own money to do their and own tell our own stories yeah. and they shut that down come on man come on but shut but I think I think Nate Parker did it right I think um, Ava DuVernay definitely does it right yeah Ava to me Ava is the best Storyteller. Yes, when it comes to uh, activism through art, there's nobody better than Ava DuVernay. Because every time she puts something out, it's a game changer. Like, mm -hmm. think about when she put out um, the 13th, 13th documentary. Minute. Why do you think she's not getting... Is it because she's never done anything cancelable? Like, why haven't they come for her? Like, it seems like she's going to keep doing this. Ava? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. no one's coming for her at all. So she's free to keep on doing it. I mean, honestly, we don't... I don't know what happens... Behind the scenes, um, I'm sure she has a lot of difficulties in Hollywood. I'm sure it's not easy for her. You know, um, I'm, I, I know when Wrinkle in Time came out, they tried to. You saw people like coming at her, acting mm -hmm. like the, you know, oh, the movie underperformed and this and that. She's not capable of doing X, Y, and Z, blah, blah, blah. It's just like you know, everything not gonna hit. Yeah, it's you not know? all gonna be a, a a home run. No, my daughter loved Wrinkle in Time. Wrinkle in Time wasn't for me. It was for, it was for somebody my daughter's age. She's eleven now. I think when we saw that, she was like eight or nine. You know, so I don't. I mean, I don't. 
I don't know. I, I it, put it put it like this: it's never too late. So I'm not, I can't sit here and say it. And I'm gonna come for her. Right. It's never it's never too late. If it's one yeah. thing that we've learned, it's never it's too never. motherfucking they will dig, late. They will dig some shit up on you from. But here's boy. my thing: I don't when when the, when the attacks come, you got to be prepared for them. I just don't like when they use us. Mm. to attack us they do that's that's the way to get us is through us yeah. that's the that's the game because that's why that's why we get canceled it's us ain't nobody getting canceled though i mean what you canceled air quotes canceled yeah, you who know really got canceled like R. Kelly. bill who? cosby OJ? got canceled hell no oj thriving oj chilling oj, OJ on been twitter thriving talking. since he killed them two white OJ, people oj on twitter talking so much <laughs> shit OJ thriving <laughs> from a golf cart OJ ain't li- <laughs> by the way oj ain't never lost when did he lose when he went to jail probably that one time for stealing his own stuff and, and then when he came home all the media is right back yeah. on oj yeah. it's like white media is obsessed with oj because they can't believe that nigga got away with that shit they're mad i'm serious that was one of our wins as a people honestly when he got away with that that murder which i still don't think he did really no i don't i, I don't. love you miko's so black yeah you know how black you gotta be to not believe the fuck that oj didn't do it not i ain't guilty. even that black you know <laughs> i don't think he did it really i don't tell me why i personally think his son did it i didn't know oj had a son i know either oj got a son you know what jason let's, let's move on because oh, jason just, Hey, Jason's a chef. Jason's a grown ass oh, man. Oh, so he's good with knives. Yes, yeah. that's why. Really? It, there's a story behind why his son probably. Break it did. down. This, this is the brand new. It's a legend. I don't want to. Yeah. It's good. Bro, legend, drop it. Huh? He, well, Justin. Oh, Justin. Yeah. There's a, actually a documentary about how he his like son actually did it. He looks like he would never harm a white woman. <laughs> he looks like he don't want nothing more than to be in the arms of a beautiful Nubian white queen. <laughs> Nubian white queen. <laughs> is sick yeah but there's a documentary about it and, and I did a little bit of research and there's people that actually believe his son did it and he low key is covering for his son really yeah uh, which is makes him honorable in my I don't opinion. believe that <laughs> how old was his son in his 20s I wouldn't yeah. take the fall from my kid like nah the son no. see that's that white in you see I'm not going for, if he kills somebody <laughs> hell no Wait, listen hold on yes Nicole, that was Nicole's son. Well, they have kids together. You know that, right? Hold on now. I'm tripping. Uh, Justin wasn't Nicole's son. It should say he was Nicole's son. The, the theory is it's the first son. The first son. By the first wife. Yes. So it wasn't Justin? No. Okay. Yeah. I, I thought the kid's name was Jason, but I don't remember. OJ did that shit and if he didn't do it he knows what the fuck happened so yeah, that still makes him knows. guilty as shit. Definitely knows. But I, I didn't look at that as a win. For us? Nah, I didn't look at because when we, you see... Let me you, tell you something why it's a win, Charlemagne, because okay. I watch white men get away with shit all the time mm-hmm. that they're guilty of. You just look at just the fact that the pharmaceutical companies are doing all these... You see the commercial. Did your family member die of this or this? Well, we're giving away money to you because the, the pharmaceutical company has been found guilty of putting chemicals in the pills that your family member took. Mm-hmm. Nobody's going to jail for that. Like, there's millions of people dying every year over pills that are prescribed by our our doctors, food mm-hmm. that is approved by our Food and Drug Administration, and no one goes to jail. But as soon as a person that's not a billionaire, that doesn't own a Fortune 500 company, is not on a Forbes list, commits a crime, they got to go to jail. Why? So you're saying if OJ was a pharmacist, he would be he wouldn't he'd be it. just fine if he was a billionaire running this country. I believe there's like eight or nine billionaires running this country. If he was one of them and he killed his wife, no one would care. Yeah, but I guess the only reason I didn't look at it OJ as a win is because when I saw the thirty for thirty, I realized like OJ really wasn't down for us any He wasn't way. like OJ didn't give a he fuck wasn't. about black people. So nah. I don't I don't like when mainstream America when when he does some bullshit, he's black. But when he OJ running the ball and in mm-hmm. the soup commercials, he's one of he's he's not he's one of us. He's not black. He's OJ. Yeah, I don't like that shit. That, no, y'all keep that. Y'all keep him over there. He's still nigga. I don't care what he said. And that's the yeah, problem. Nigga. Niggas going at the end of the day, you going to eventually get your nigga wake up call. Yeah, and be reminded that you are still a look nigga. Look what happened to uh, look what happened to Tiger Woods. He got his nigga wake up. No, call. he didn't. He's still asleep. But still, no. Nah. That nigga don't Tiger think he black. Woods, Tiger Woods was condemned. He lost his entire career because he cheated on his girl. 
woman. And guess, a what, white he was woman. At, guess what he was at early this year? Getting a goddamn Medal of Honor yes. on around his neck That's from Donald from, Trump. Yeah. That's his guy. Yeah. Man, Tiger Woods don't give a fuck about black people. That's why get, we, yo, when Tiger won early and everybody thought I was tripping when he won early this year and I saw all the black people, but this black excellence. Since when? No, no, no. Am I that old that I'm the only one that remembers Tiger it's, don't fuck it's with us? Golf excellence is what it is. But what, what you have to understand is. <laughs> It's, it's difficult to say, but it doesn't, to me, it doesn't matter if somebody's not like, like OJ, he didn't like us. Uh, Tiger, I'm not black. I'm cobbling Asian, whatever he said. He's still a nigga to me. He's still a nigga in my eyes. I don't really care if you ain't claiming you're nigger to him. You're a nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. and so for me, I, I still support black people. Regardless, even when you lost a little bit, it's it's not a support. It's, it's more of an understanding. You know, it's, it's it, tough. I, I try not to turn my back on my people. I try. Wayno, do you support niggas at all costs? <laughs> oh, Wayno just walked in. Oh, get the mic. Get the mic. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. I feel that. We, Wayno just came in. A uh, and R of Asylum Records. Co-host of uh, Everyday Struggle. We know this is my man, Intern John. What's up, man? This is Miko. Pleasure, pleasure. We in here having a conversation about niggers. Niggers. And, um, I'm leading it, so. Yes. It's <laughs> 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 that was crazy. What do you say out of here? You what do you say? I said I was leading it. I was leading the conversation. Oh, no, you're not. He didn't say you're playing. What's up, my brother? Like, How you doing, doing King? Uh, you doing? Hi, hi, Wayne. I'm Miko. We was talking about Tiger Woods specifically. Tiger Woods. And I remember everybody got so excited when he won whatever the fuck he won a couple months ago. And the like, oh, he's black excellence and this and that. I'm like, I don't, Tiger don't give a fuck about us. Yeah, he, I don't look at Tiger Woods is a black person. Me neither. I'm sorry. I'm just keeping it on it. Me neither. Respect. I don't fuck how many masses he win. Masses. Whatever. I don't I don't like I don't look at like I don't think all and it's gonna sound crazy. I just don't think all black people are created equal. <laughs> you're you're correct. <laughs> now nah, you're keeping correct. It, you ain't you ain't wrong in that aspect. It, it depends on what in what context of what we're talking about, but you ain't wrong. Like, no, like it, it, it's somebody like R. Kelly. I don't think R. Kelly getting done wrong. No. And by the way, he's not being done wrong. He might be the first person that really got canceled. Mm. Like is in a canceled, real though? way, not really. It, we, He's it, not still canceled. a little bit like cleaning at the bottom of the pot with him. It's like all this. fat women. <laughs> and the only people still hanging on to R. Kelly is fat women. I promise you. Go look at the people in Brooklyn who's supporting him. Yeah. But what people that still come to shows. Canceled? What are you considering canceled though? Where, because where, to where me, his music is still streaming so crazy. It's not though, is it? Yes, it is. Yeah, because people yes. are looking for the clues in that shit. Yes. Yes. I've been heard all his that shit. His music is streaming. Like every time his name is brought up in the media, his Spotify numbers jump. But you know what's crazy? Everybody who like is attached to some sort of murder or some sort of case, like every time there's some news story on them, they get popping. They like, get popping. and everything. Yes. You know what I realized about R. Kelly? I didn't really like his music that much. Really? I never, mm -mm. Me neither. I never liked. It. I didn't. I didn't realize that until all this shit happened. Like I can live without Mike uh, R. Kelly's music. I can uh, Michael live Jackson? without it. No, y'all yeah, kiss my ass. I can live ass. without it, but yeah. I like his music. I don't. I, I, I'm not into it like that. Like there's mm. no R. Kelly song I have to hear. Like, and I, I realized my favorite R. Kelly song was "I Wish" remix because mm -hmm. it makes me think about a lot of my partners that yeah. got killed. You know what I'm saying? And I just think that's a dope. Song, tribute yeah. song from when yeah. somebody died but there's nothing else I really really love by R. Kelly R. Kelly used to have me jamming like I have a party with him and I, I can have sex to his music like he got a lot of different lanes with me you can still have sex to R. Kelly's more. music I mean I don't anymore but I did <laughs> I have memories of it from you know the past I don't really need his music anymore there's so much other new music 12 play was kind of trash bro I, I mean, only liked I Believe I Could Fly to keep it 100 the like, only R. Kelly song ever? That that I love, like, love, yeah, because it was around the time when Michael Jordan had retired. I used oh. to watch Space Jam. I used to get sad about that shit. Yeah, No bullshit, like, I never liked his music. Like, I, as a kid. Jiggle <laughs> <Come on. laughs> like, <laughs> Nah, but I really, never really liked his music when I was a kid. I just, I, it was something about like, him. How old are you, Wayne? I'm 36. I'll okay. be 37 this year. I'm 44. Okay. So I, I feel me. like we, we, we're right there, but I feel like, when, be your little brother. I was, I was, I was a grown up before you, like, Absolutely. you know what I mean? Like, Absolutely. oh, please, so, Miko, you fucking niggas ain't no age right now. <laughs> well, not now, but you know. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to play him like he's young. My Man. husband is his age. Oh, see? What? Exact age, yeah. yeah. But this is the thing, like, I, we're watching, we watch old Jordan, um, they replay the games on NBA TV, yeah. and there was a game, and it was in, um, I think it was like 90. 
90 or 91, there was mm-hmm. a game we were watching, and my husband was like, oh, man, I remember I was eight years old, and, I, and when this game was happening, I was begging my mom for those sneakers, and I was sitting there like, oh, my God. He's like, what's wrong? And I said, I was in high school giving somebody buckets in those shoes, and he was eight. Wow. wow. And yeah. I was just like, that's so crazy. Like, But you see what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Right yeah, now, yeah, yeah, our yeah, yeah, age yeah. difference isn't that much, no, but, but when I get you what you're saying. back, I be talking to people it's like, different. I have conversations you know? with people that I'd be like, they was born in 96, and I graduated junior high school in 96. I'd be like, I started high school in 96. I'm like, damn, you wasn't, so you didn't see the 72 and 10 Bulls? Like, yes. you, you wasn't there for the Tupac? And big, like, I met a kid that, uh, he was born, I think, when Jay and Nas was dissing each other. Like, yeah, like he was it's, born it's in, crazy. One of my artists was born in 2000. I, gra- I, gra- I was supposed to graduate high school in 96. I ended up what? graduating in 98 in high school. <laughs> I graduated in 93. Yeah. Shit. I didn't graduate. I'm older than you. I got you. kicked out of high school. I got kicked out of GED school. What'd you do? I kicked out of GED school. I was. I you was, gotta be a terrible human being. Yeah, how did you get kicked <laughs> out of GED school? You know what it was? At the time, I was getting a couple dollars and like, I felt, ironically, I had a pair of Jordans I brought that I had just bought, and I fell asleep on them. And uh, the teacher was like, he asked me to answer a question, and I, and I got up, and I looked at everybody. I just walked out the class. Like, I just... Oh, my God. Because I was so embarrassed that I fell asleep. I just didn't want to, like... He was he purposely asked me like to yeah. answer the question because I was sleep, yeah, sleep, but I just felt so stupid. I was like, man, there's nothing to do other than walk out the class. Like, and you never Jesus went back? Christ. Nah, I never went back. Oh, so you never man. got your GED? I got one. I, I paid for it. I, I bought it. Respect. So you don't, oh I didn't know that. Respect. I know you could buy a GED. You could buy anything. You could buy anything. <laughs> you could buy, buy a anything. college degree. Everything. Yeah. I want to talk. Hold up. First of all, R. Kelly, uh, twelve players trash. I just want to throw that out there, right? Sure. And I, I want to tell you why. It's, it's twelve songs on the album. Okay. All right. Let's see. Your body's calling. Banging. That's a jam. Bump and grind. Jam. Homie, love a friend. Uh, it's cool. It's dope. Yeah. Seems like you're ready. Jam. Freak that body, trash. Yeah, we, I like the crotch on you, trash. We, I like the crotch on you. That's a real thing. That's a real thing. Summer bunnies, trash. Aight. It's okay. For yeah. you, trash. Trash. Back to the hood of things, trash. trash. Sadie, dope. Dope. Sex me part one and part two. I like. And then untitled song. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. 50% of that is trash. That's what I mean. When you go back and you look at some of these yeah. projects, like we we love these records that were so big, yeah. but I can live without R. Kelly's music. You can. Yeah, I can. I think I could it. too now yeah. that I think about it. But from back in the day, I have so many memories with his music. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't listen to it now. Like I find myself singing it randomly. Like I will definitely start singing. It's the remix to Ignition. It's hot. So what's the dick you got off some R. Kelly that made you just like yeah. always think about some that shit? Seems Weddings, like you parties, you, of, uh, you know, like, like cookouts, you know, barbecues. It's a lot of those things, not yeah. just the sex, yeah. you know, but you think about weddings, you know, family reunions. That's, that's how our culture, we came up like that. My I ain't fuck with anyway. R. Kelly like that. I don't remember R. Kelly and no cookouts and all that shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I, I didn't. I did. But, I, the name but of you love, know what? Yeah. Let me say this. My family's from St. from St. Louis. So the Chicago Steppers. and St. Midwest. Louis. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, yeah. us. So that might be why as well, because my family is big R. Kelly fan. I mean, I'm not gonna, we gotta go act like he's not talented, but that doesn't matter. Like, like yeah. I'm just cool on his music. Period. Like, I don't. I know. I, listen, this situation showed me I don't really fuck with R. Kelly's music like that. Yeah. Now I want to pay some bills and I want to come back and talk about college degrees since we okay. since we mentioned them. All right. <laughs> Um, Mack Weldon is better than whatever you're wearing right now. Mack Weldon is a premium men's essential brand that believes in smart design and premium fabrics. They believe in smart design, premium fabrics, and simply shopping, all right? Mack Weldon believes in smart design, premium fabrics, and simple shopping, all right? They have a line of silver underwear and shirts that are naturally antimicrobial, which means they eliminate odor. You still need to wash your ass, though. And not only does Mack Weldon's underwear, socks, and shirts look good, they perform well, too. It's great for working out, going to work, going out on dates, just everyday life. Mack Weldon wants you to be comfortable. So if you don't like your first pair, you can keep it, and they will still refund you. No questions asked, all right? Pick up some Mack Weldon's today and get 20% off your first order. Visit MacWeldon.com and enter promo code BRILLIANTIDIOTS. That's M-A-C-K-W-E-L-D-O-N.com and enter promo code BRILLIANTIDIOTS for 20% off your first order. Um... But I do want to say it's summertime, and that means prime ice cream season. Now, I know that a lot of y'all are lactose, into- are lactose intolerant out there, but if you are going to take some chances with some dairy, take it with some Ben & Jerry's ice cream, all right? Uh, what's your favorite Ben & Jerry's ice cream, Miko? The yeah. vegan one. They got vegan Ben & Jerry's ice cream? I believe so. I believe they have a vegan now. Really? Yeah, I think so. Do you have a favorite Ben & Jerry's ice cream, Buenos? Yes. Um, Half-baked. 
What the fuck is that bean? That sounds like it got weed in cookie, it. All right. Nah, it's, it's, it's chocolate. It's chocolate vanilla swirl with cookie dough in it and like chocolate chunks and white chocolate chunks. That shit is fire. John, yeah. what do you like? I got the, a few uh, Scotchy scotch, Ron Burgundy stuff. It's like butterscotch. Ron like, Burgundy. But Will Ferrell has his own like ice cream with like Ben Jerry's. Oh, Ron Burgundy. Yeah, Ron Burgundy's with <laughs> the character, yeah. <laughs> you know, I thought he's been Ron what? Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, treat yourself to your favorite flavor anywhere ice cream is sold. I'll find a new favorite at benjerry.com. That's B E N J E R R Y dot com. And also, the Brilliant Idiots is brought to you by Hems. Okay? Mm, uh, don't mm. sweat hair loss this summer. Do something now while you still can. For Hems.com, a one stop shop for hair loss, skin care, sexual wellness. For men, Hems connects you with real doctors and medical grade solutions to treat hair loss. These are well known generic equivalents, okay, to name brand prescriptions to help you keep your hair. All right? No snake oil pills or gas station counter supplements. No waiting room. No awkward in person doctor visits. Just answer a few quick questions and the doctor will review and they'll prescribe you whatever you need, all right? Stop worrying about sunblock on that little ball spot of thinning hair of yours and do something to help promote hair growth, okay? Order now. My listeners get a trial month of him for just five... Ugh. My listeners get a trial month of him for just $5 today right now while supplies last. See website for full details and safety information. This will cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Well, not hundreds of thousands, but hundreds if you went to the doctor or a pharmacy. It depends how much you're paying for your hairlines nowadays, though. Mm. There's some expensive-ass hairlines out there. Uh, go to forhims.com slash B. That's F O R H I M S dot com slash B I for hymns dot com slash B I. Now let's get back to the show. Now, what? Oh, tell her come on in. And we got a whole family affair going on, right? Okay, Rich Paul. Yes. Ooh. That's my dog. Ooh. They uh, have implemented something which it's the LeBron Rich Paul James rule. is calling the Rich Paul rule. Yes. What, what is the Rich Paul rule? Well, the rule Rich Paul, since I'm the sports person here, hey, sports reporter. So um, whenever you are an agent for a, a per player, you don't have to have a degree. Anyone can represent someone. The contract that you have to sign has to have a lawyer you know, to do with mm -hmm. it. But anyone can be an agent. And Rich Paul is probably, I'm guessing, probably the only agent that doesn't have a college degree, to my knowledge. I would doubt that. You think? Yes. The majority of them are lawyers. Oh. Most agents are lawyers. Okay. Uh, he is breaking the mold. And basically, like, my homie about to be my representative now. They are trying to stop that now. They it's not just a college degree, though. Isn't it something else, like some type of certification that they have to have? No. They actually want you to have a degree. A yeah, I know it's a degree, degree, but it's something else, too. Hold on. It's, they said it's the, uh, it's a, it's a de degree, mm -hmm. a bachelor's degree, and something else. No, oh, uh, certified with the NBPA for a minimum of three years. Yeah. You got to take an in-person exam at the NCAA office. All in this shit they're trying to do just to stop one person, and they hate him. They're mad because Rich Paul is out here doing his fucking thing. He got to be the biggest agent in, yes. in the game right now, yes. right? You got LeBron James, Anthony Davis. Everybody. John Wall. Everybody important. J.R. Smith, Tristan Thompson. ESPN said that he's the third most powerful. A second, two lists. One, he was the third most powerful. The other one, he was the second most powerful person in the NBA. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, when Sports Illustrated had Rich Paul on the front of uh, the magazine, they said that he's the most polarizing figure in the NBA. Not yes. no executive, not no owner, not yes. no player, nothing. Because he, they feel like he's not supposed to be there because he's nobody. He hasn't done the work. He hasn't done everything that everybody else has done to give it. You don't have to if you're LeBron's homie. Yeah. You don't have to. There's they, they let their people take shortcuts. We saw them white kids. Their parents was paying yeah. for them degrees. Why can't we do it this way then? So you basically, know? this is uh, the NCAA trying to give Rich Paul his nigga wake-up call. The Illuminati. Yes. The NCAA is the real Illuminati. Man. Listen, Man. there's no bigger robber there's no bigger rapists there's no bigger stick up kids out here than the NCAA Yo, you're talking about an industry that makes billions of dollars and they pay these student <laughs> athletes nothing yes my homie had a theory on this right he was like yo because remember LeBron never went to college, right? Imagine mm -hmm. if LeBron would have met, went to Duke. You know how much money they'd be making off his college jerseys? Yeah. 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 yeah, in the video games, all yeah. that stuff. Absolutely. I had, I had Jamel Hill on my podcast, and never we talked about, <laughs> and we talked about if he about. had gone to an HBCU. If you're going to be used, why not allow an HBCU to use you? Mm -hmm. Why not? Mm -hmm. Why are you going to these white schools, you know, that don't give a fuck about you, that truly, if you get hurt that year, mm -hmm. they're going to throw you away and people are always like oh you get a free education no you don't I think I, it's a damn shame that no HBCU has ever had a super popping basketball yeah. program but I think that the conversation that people don't have is that like 
young black kids, or kids that come from poverty that are good at sports are not going for education. They going because for, they're trying to get out the hood. Absolutely, yes. and, and nobody wants to have that conversation. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's the way out for a lot of us. It's yeah. like you know, sports. Yeah. Drugs, rap, yeah. those are only the major three ways that we as a people see our way out. None of us are thinking education. I tried all three. And that's what. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, one works for you. The one music. absolutely works. Yeah. yeah. And that's what Rich Paul is doing. He's breaking the mold because what Rich Paul is doing, he's grabbing these kids and he's like, man, fuck school. Yeah. I can't remember the ball player's name off the top of my head right now, but he made, him, need... he made him go get an internship with yeah. New Balance and he ended up getting a million dollars and then got drafted this year. What was yes. the guy's name? I forget his name, but you don't. The, the, I, people argue me also. You don't need no college education for real. If you want to be a doctor or some of these things that require that certification, sure. But there's so many different ways you can improve. Employ yourself without Steve a Jobs, degree. no college degree. Yeah. Bill Gates, no college degree. Yeah. Fucking Mark Zuckerberg, no college degree. Ellen DeGeneres, no mm. college degree. Wayne, no. Wayne, no. I don't have a high school diploma. Look, you know I mean? like, look at look at the floor. I don't have no college degree. I That's do. why I, I, I think that that shit needs to change in any industry. I don't even like the fact that radio makes you have to be in school now to get an internship. I didn't have, I didn't go to college. I, I, right. I had they. I played professional basketball, and when I retired, I thought, boom, just like all the other NBA niggas, as soon as they retire, they just get handed a job in radio, TV, whatever. I was told I had to go back to school because I, I got a pussy. Mm -hmm. Men That's get right. walked into those sports reporting jobs when they retire, but I went back for what? Somebody told you that verbatim? Like, yes. you got to go back to school because you got a pussy? Not because I got a pussy. <laughs> that was but it was, but that was, how much is the lawsuit after that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I heard when I said to them, so how come I named all these other athletes that walked into jobs yeah. and I said, they all got dicks. Is that the difference? And they were just like, whoa, like she even said that. Yeah. So what was the difference? But I did it. I went back to school and then when I finished, then that's when I started getting jobs. I wish I had went to school for the experience though. I ain't gonna lie. But I dropped out very, very, very young. Like very young. Oh yeah. I oh, dropped yeah. out probably like I was 16 I was still in the ninth grade though like I was fucking up damn yeah, you but was it wasn't, behind it wasn't, behind but it wasn't due to my like intelligence I just like I, I wasn't able to learn the way like I, it, I, now that I'm a, an adult and I'm a parent I see that kids learn so many different ways and it's like I, I had teachers tell me like yo you could be stupid as you want I'm still gonna get paid on Friday yep. so you be as stupid as you wanna be it's like to they be don't a, care. To be a teacher, you got to be a superhero. That's just like being a firefighter. Like you can't just yeah. Like yeah, you, you can't, can't just come in there and clock in and clock that out. That shit ain't nah, just a right. regular job. Yeah. That shit yeah. takes a lot to be selfless to be a teacher because you really invested in people that's going to be running shit one day potentially. You can't just play around with that. And a lot of kids, the way I grew up, with, the way I grew up, shit. All my friends is drug dealers at twelve years old. So it's like we not coming outside with a lot of hope and shit. You know what yeah. I mean? So and I, I didn't out with want stress. that, but yeah, I just I, I think dropped out very this, young. This is like one of the first generation of black people who have other things to aspire to be. You know, you why? know what I'm saying? Because we're now birthing, we're now creating way more millionaires and, and not just millionaires. We don't have to be a millionaire. You could be a thousandaire. Like, we didn't even have thousandaires. My, you know what I'm saying? My, the generation before me, th there wasn't these people that have millions of dollars to pass to your kids to right. educate them and teach them the things you learn. Now, we're figuring out ways to make money, create our own income and our own wealth and now we're able to tell our kids these things and that's how I feel we can grow as a people but but there's still so many obstacles being created. Every time we figure out a way mm -hmm. to navigate through some shit, they, they put up another like, br brigade or, you know, like a, a block. So they're doing what yeah. they're doing to Rich Paul right yeah. now. Yeah. But hold on. Can we hold that thought? Because I got to get on a call so I, my kids can be millionaires. Hold on one second. <laughs> All right. So listen, I just, want, I just want to say what's happening to Rich Paul right now is no different than the long history of government policies that facilitated wealth for white Americans and shut out blacks. That's what I think they're trying to do right now. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what? It's crazy because I feel that same way about like the whole rule of uh, kids can't kids not being able to come out of high school. Oh. Mm -hmm. Because I felt like, all right, mm, too many black young black millionaires, you know what I mean? Taking money out of the, the NCAA's yes. pockets. Yeah, but Last not only that, not only that, you got all the, if you got all the top athletes saying, fuck high school, let's go right to the pros, mm -hmm. then eventually the NCAA basketball going to suffer. Let me tell you this. Last night I went to Combat Jack's uh, event, Mogul, last night. Never heard night. of him. <laughs> Rest in peace, combat. And My I was I was sitting outside smoking with Dallas and a bunch of people, and he was arguing with me, saying that he doesn't he thinks that athletes should go to college For before what? they go pro. And I said to him, "This is what I said. I said I said, he had a photographer right there. I said this photographer he can." Right at 18, if he has the money to start his own photography company, he can go be a professional photographer. Right. Why do you think that an athlete has to go to college to be a professional athlete? And he was like, they're not ready. I said, who are you to tell them they're not ready? 
Well, and no, like, it's I, not your like. I, I agree with what you're saying, but I mean, everybody isn't right. Everybody not LeBron. It doesn't. Everybody but, not but, Zion. But you, if you are, everybody's not that photographer. Right. If you are able to and capable of, you should be able to go pro the minute you're an adult. You Make think, your own decisions. Well, if in you life. don't get drafted, it's a business. Then decision. that's on you. That's but, what happens to you. That's what you said. It's, it's mm-hmm. a business decision and businesses calculated risk, right? But if we look at if we looking at timelines, Kobe. Uh, Kevin Garnett, mm-hmm. Rashard Lewis. Darrell Wright. You know what I mean? Yeah, Darrell Wright. It's, it's so many examples of kids who have come out of high school and become something as opposed to not. So it's like, even with LeBron. LeBron came out of high school. He's probably like the most legendary basketball. Aside from personal opinion about the game. I'm talking mm-hmm. about like just overall impact yes. in sports, period. Stop, Wayno. Stop. Who is really? they? They come out of high school. I'm not Who? talking about oh, game. Talking about I'm not talking about the game. They come out of high school. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, to okay. impact yeah, yeah, yeah. basketball, yeah, like yeah. he's bro. Who yeah. else made a difference? I, LeBron is the only person to make as much of a difference in yes. the NBA other than Michael Jordan. When Michael Jordan That's what left, I, said. When you, when you, I thought I didn't hear you say out of high, high school. school. Yeah, 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 yeah. coming out of high school. But I'm just saying, it's like. We could have so many more of those. So many more of those, but they hate you know. There was one other cultural shifter before LeBron, though. What do you mean, Allen Iverson? Oh well, Allen yeah. I mean, shifted culture in a different way. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think nobody has had that much cultural impact in Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson, Allen Iverson forced a, a dress code change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Made, made everybody want to get tattoos. He made tattoos everybody unapologetically be themselves. The and he had a slight thing everything. in the sport with the crossover, but I'm talking about like just affecting the overall sport. Yes, like the overall sport. He didn't affect the sport. In the same way that LeBron did, like LeBron going to a team or staying on a team makes all the difference in the NBA. Oh yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Look, yes. look, that wasn't the His same thing for Allen Iverson. Make ev- the whole league shift. Yeah, Everything everybody he waits does. to see. All right, what is he going to do? I don't all know right. if that's the case now. Oh, it is. I yes, don't it know is. about oh, it that. Is. The, oh, damn! Whatever one year team, off, like whatever what? team LeBron would, if he would have left the Lakers this summer and went somewhere else, it would be a huge what? deal. What's Wherever he went, they'd be saying that team is going to the championship. That's because of media hype, though. And I, I, listen, I respect LeBron, but a lot of that is because of media hype. Because no, right it's now, true. No. like Kawhi if you Leonard, put the Ka- best player in the NBA on your team, you are a front runner to the championship. This is the problem with LeBron, though, and I love LeBron. What? We always talk about the difference he makes on these teams. He mm-hmm. does, but it's not like he's winning everywhere he goes. LeBron isn't like What a, do you consider a win? A championship. Yeah. Wait a second. All right, so if that... Wait a, second, wait a second, wait a second. Look, Michael Jordan played 16 years, right? Mm-hmm. 16, 15 years? He won six, six times, times, right? Okay. Everybody loves to forget that year when Shaq and Penny bust the Bulls' ass. Can we talk, I did. Can, can we talk about this for a second? I, I love this conversation. All right. First of all, 16 years, we're not going to count the last two with the Wizards. That shit don't even matter. All right. Okay. Okay, so, he, actually so, played, so, he actually played 15 years because he played 13 with the Bulls. 13 with the Bulls. Right? First seven years in uh, uh, Michael George's career, he was the guy, but he couldn't get out the playoffs, right. couldn't yes. get out the East Conference Finals. Right. But when he figured it out... Which means he got other when he fi- It don't matter. When he yes. figured it out, yeah. there was no Nobody. doubt of who the undisputed king of basketball was. Right. Yes. LeBron has not done that. Do you know there's a reason for that. Why? There's super teams why? now. Oh, okay. He, like, has he, as if he hasn't had them? He's no, had a, he had one. He, he had one, won he had one team. He had one. one, two. No, 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 no. He had one super team. One. Him and Kyrie Irving is not a super team. No. no I'm not on Miami Heat. That's no, one team. And by the way, no, one he's team. the guy that got on stage and said, we're going to win five, of six, course. seven. Nigga, you would have said that too. No, nigga. I wouldn't you, know. You Everybody said that. But, 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 but once again, if you're the best player in the league, right? right? And, and Jordan was the best player in the league and he still didn't win. That's not true. When Jordan figured it out, he did not no, lose. No, he had other people no. with him. That you when, you by don't the discredit time, the rest of the team listen, by that the, he had? Listen, no, he had a squad. But yeah. by the time he figured it out, mm-hmm. he did not lose. Because of his ch- the squad you know why? change. All right, so look, because we're going... Real crazy here. We going. Left. I love LeBron, but I'm just listen, saying what people don't talk about about Michael Jordan is how much he didn't do that LeBron is doing. And I'm talking about to affect. Stop. Not well, not, not not basketball. You can't do I'm, that. Outside, I, know, I know you about to do this. Outside of basketball, it, it, it don't matter. No, it's basketball. And I love Michael Jordan. We, we have nothing else to talk hey. about but basketball. It, yeah. it does. Like if we want to talk outside accomplishments, that's a whole different conversation. Yes, it is. It is. We talking about what's on that court. What's on yes. the court? Yeah, I, I mean, listen, LeBron had a chance. He could have, what, nine rings right now? He went yes. to the finals yeah. eight times in a row. Eight that times. in itself is a win. Yeah, that's a, that's a win. No, listen, that's a win. Just going to the final. No, going eight to the final show. No matter Niggas who, go one time and no never go ever who's again on in your life. your roster, you're, you're going in to the a finals. a weak ass Eastern Conference. Yes, who he should have won eight to nine. It don't what matter. Do weak bro, ass. Just getting sports. there. You obviously don't know what it takes to play. I'm going to keep it honey. You have no idea. You can't, like, listen, listen, listen. You can't you can't lead a team of grown men to to the playoffs against a bunch of fourteen year olds right now. Listen, AAU team. Yes. I respect LeBron James, <laughs> but this is what I'm telling you. 
it's levels, right? Yeah. It's good, it's great, it's king, and it's God. Uh-huh. LeBron's a king. You saying he's not a god? He's a king. Respect on the court. He's a king. I he disagree. King James. How many gods? I, I don't like. To put the, but how many gods you are there? You gotta die to be a god, I in think my it's three. opinion. Who are the three gods? Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, and Kobe Bryant. Listen, while Watch I love out. Kobe Bryant, Watch out. while I love Kobe Bryant to death, while I love Kobe Bryant, right? That's sick that you put Kobe in there. Over Kobe LeBron. is not listen. Done. Kobe is one of the, yeah. Kobe is one of the greatest talents I've ever seen, but affecting. The NBA, he did not affect the NBA how LeBron affect the NBA. I, I see what you mean. You're talking about, you about like brand wise. No, not brand wise. As a player, as being a difference maker. When Co- listen, when when Kobe Bryant, he only actually get traded that one time, right? And when he didn't, that shit wasn't the big, the biggest difference maker in the whole league. When he when he wasn't winning, shit still went on. There's not a time when LeBron hasn't well, been winning since he's won. Well, yeah. That's, well, that's, now not winning the championship is one thing, but since he's been, bro, nine but years. You know what of, hurt Kobe though? What? The rape, char- the rape charge. That mm-hmm. no, yeah, the rape charge. Hurt? They didn't. The NBA would not market Kobe Fuck the way they would market him. a LeBron. That nigga was averaging because forty every time he went to court. What do you mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> but that's they didn't. Like, he won two championships after that. They never yes. put him on that pedestal. Like, well, he, he's the he, face of the league. Well, because they never made Kobe the face Kobe of the league. Kobe was the face of the league. When? Yes, he was. When he, he won did the it championship, himself, especially when it was, he did it by himself, meaning without no Shaq. way. Without Shaq. We had no choice but to look at him. But every commercial was either. Kobe, LeBron. Remember, they tried to get that shit going, but oh, they yeah. never got to play in the finals. I mean, that was because Nike. Kobe Nike couldn't was... get there. Look, Kobe was there. LeBron, I mean, LeBron. couldn't get no, there. No, he's yeah. about before. No. This it was, was only like, one year. I mean, like Co- literally... Kobe's off years yes. was 06 and 07. Yeah. 08, he went to the finals. 09, Nine. 2010. Yep. 2011, he got bumped. Bump. And then it was... Seven NBA down finals, he won five. Hills. Yeah, but he also and he had, never got washed in the finals. He never got washed, but Bro, he also got washed, washed in the finals. Kobe was swept in the finals. What are you talking about? When did Kobe about? get swept in the finals? Kobe got swept. Um, oh, by the Pistons. Yeah, by the Pistons. Yeah, yeah, by the Pistons. Come on, but no, he, they no, won no, one no, game. No, no. I think they won one yeah, game. But no, he got swept. Uh, no, nah, it was the Pistons. Pistons beat them four to one. Was the Pistons? Yeah. Yeah, Kobe. But that's when Shaq was there. Kobe, Kobe. But Shaq, he also played with one of the most dominant forces ever to exist. One, two rings after him. Stop it. He did. Listen, dog. There's no bigger Kobe fan in the room than me. I'm just telling you. Kobe is an incredible basketball player. Incredible. I think Kobe's a god. He is not a god. He's not a god, bro. He's not a god. No. He's not a god. He's a god. You talking about a nigga? Why? Because and I love him to death. But why? Because he tore his Achilles and shot a free throw. No, because he's like, five, like let's be for real. Like, is that why? Because he's five and two in NBA Finals. Because he won three with Shaq, then won two on his own after everybody said he, didn't he was win, done. on his own. Wait a second. Stop Damn. that narrative, crazy, bro. He had right? Pau Gasol, who was one of the best offensive yeah. threats in the league at that yeah. time. He was one of the best big men in the league. What was Paul Gasol been... doing before that win, though? He was fucking killing that Memphis, and he was he couldn't win. Is that get pulled with... Nobody ever bro, thought of wearing a Paul Gasol jersey fuck before a Paul he came to LA. Jersey. Guess what? No jersey, Nobody thought about it. As soon as he got traded, they went to the finals. As soon as he got traded, they went to the finals. Because yes. he got with Kobe. Okay. Kobe bought out so the best did not, Paul Kobe didn't win by himself. I'm not finna have this argument with Charlotte. Nobody wins by themselves. So what are we talking about? All I'm simply saying is, it's disrespectful to put LeBron James over Kobe I think it's disrespectful. Do we believe in a will to win that some people have? that some mm-hmm. people don't that when you know this is the thing when you see Kobe on the court and you see Michael Jordan on the right. court you like I know they're going to win this game you know they, why you they're going to find way? a way to win you this game with LeBron you like he going to find a way to lose this no game I said no listen listen, listen. I've watched I'm sorry go, go ahead. ahead no go ahead All right, I've watched every every NBA final since like 1991 up until today the best championship I've ever seen win one ever was LeBron and, and, yes. and against Golden State? Yes. That was the best championship Absolutely. I've ever seen. No, yes. di- no disputing that. So that doesn't make him a god. Beating a seventy-three and nine team down no. three and one, coming down three back and one, and winning that chip doesn't put that him was in a, the that god was, that was that was a godlike moment. Oh, like moment, yeah. moment. That was definitely a godlike moment. Sports is about that was a moment. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant esque. That's why I'm not going to argue with him. That's the kind of first stuff championship <laughs> in their whole entire existence. Not going to do it. Listen, that's the kind of not stuff that I would expect. From somebody who's been marketed the way LeBron is marketed for the past 16 years. Because, by the way... He's lived he's up to it, though. He's, he's lived oh, up to it. Oh, no, 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 no. He hasn't. I'm going to tell you why. It's the media's fault. Right? Now, I'm going to tell you... I'm going to give you a perfect... I'm going to tell you a story. This is how I look at it. LeBron never asked for any of that. 
Mm-mm. LeBron didn't have to be called the next Jordan. He didn't have to be He's called the golden, the, the greatest Jordan. of all time. And, and if, if they had never compared LeBron to anyone, LeBron would be God like that. No, LeBron my nigga, they're going to compare everybody be... for the rest of existence. Yes. No. And he wore the number 23. No. He yes. did ask for it. No. In the Jordan, it's, it was his, his idol. LeBron should be compared to Magic Johnson. That's what I agree he should with be that. compared with. Nah, I, I, you, all right. Not Jordan. I just I feel like that. every great basketball player needs to be compared. Just like every great rapper needs to be compared. Just like anybody who does anything at a high level needs to be compared. But the bar no, that no, they no, set for LeBron. Can, but it's not they're not the same type of player but the, you know what the problem so is tough. everybody regulates the game of basketball to the last 10 seconds and and that's all mm. fuck everything that yeah, anybody the does yeah. game, if yeah. he don't yeah. score in the last 5 that seconds he's a trash but yeah. you know what I seen him do it a bunch of times like he's yeah. done it you know what remember the Ray Allen shot yeah. Nobody talks about that three. Remember that yeah. three? On the side LeBron of the three. Bron hit the three, no, 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 three before. Yeah, before Nobody that. talks about but that But just shit. like they talk about Kyrie's shot, nobody talk about the block that created the I shot. I know, but that block, I mean, that three was a mother. It was a monster. Yo, Ky- yeah, the Kyrie person that makes monster. you come gets the credit. Boom. <laughs> Respect. So Ray Allen made them come. <laughs> oh my God, man. I got no argument on that. The person that makes you come the gets the credit. Listen, that, Respect. listen Respect. LeBron Respect. is great. And I'm not even saying that the the... the this is like, all right, did you see when Glasses Malone's on breakfast? First of all, Absolutely. I did. Was yeah, jumping over get, I just yeah. want to say salute to Rich Paul. Right. Yes. Salute to Rich Paul. Keep doing what the fuck you're doing. Keep going, my nigga. Black yes. I, I, I think he should sue the NCAA. I yeah. feel like this is some type of, I don't know, it's got to be some type of violation or yeah. something. Like this, he has to do something to like get back at the NCAA and yeah. show them that. Didn't they try to do that to Hove though? When he was getting, when they tried to write his sports, agency as well, yeah. they tried to do some shit where they was like, he doesn't have a, a certificate yeah. to be an agent, to, <laughs> right. not, to own a sports agent. Well, Hope right. falls under this category too because he ain't got no degree either. Yeah, right. but he's not the actual agent. He's the owner of, of the, the agency. agency. Oh, right. yeah. got you, you got, you, I mean? got you, got yeah. you, got you, got you. If Rich I was in, the actual agent. If so I was the NCAA different. and I was any of these agents, I'd be trying to connect with Rich Paul. They, they don't want to do Paul that. Rich Paul got That's, the culture. Because then you're about to make more Rich Pauls, and they don't want that. Don't want it's that. going to happen regardless. Yeah, you know they don't why? See that. They, they don't see that. It's going to happen because there is a Rich Paul. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As long as there's a Rich Paul, there's going to be other Rich Pauls. Right. They're, they're trying to put saying? up brigades right now to block that. That yeah. shit ain't happening. That sucks. Yeah. That shit ain't happening. And if the Lakers win the championship this year, Ooh, and, rap. you know, Anthony Davis, I'm a who's already a top three, shit. top five player in the league, mm-hmm. Me and you. if he, they win the championship this year, and it's going to be because of Anthony, right, that's... It, he's gonna be the guy now. So now you got to deal with this guy now for the next four or five years. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And he's he just it, but he just took on like a one. He hasn't signed an extension or none of that yet. He just took a one year deal. No, right? there was and a trade. It was a trade, but yeah. he, but he's only there for one year. He's yeah. a free agent. He he's yeah, gonna yeah. next year. That, that's a oh, he's about deal. to cash out. Yeah, that's a done. Oh, deal. absolutely. Especially but, if they don't pick up anybody else. That's a done oh, yeah, deal. He's cashing. Out. But I mentioned the glasses thing mm-hmm. with Snoop. And Pac, because we, you know, he was talking about from 1992 to 1996, there was no bigger rapper mm-hmm. than Snoop Dogg. And it's like when I, when we talk about Kobe and Braun, we're talking about two all-time greats. It's not that far apart. It's not yeah. like we're talking like it's well, a super people, gap between the two. People are saying there is a big no. That's gap, ridiculous. No, it's not a big. That's gap. ridiculous. It's, it's not a. Big I had gap. sugar free on my podcast last week. The rapper? Yes. Wow. Yes. Oh man, did, yes. did he talk how he rap? Yes, <laughs> he does. One hundred percent. And I, 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 um, I asked him to watch that interview before we went on, and we talked about it, and he said that he agrees with glasses. He said that Snoop is how that, I'm, all right. he's so like he's talking about like Snoop. it's not even close Snoop how? is the greatest ever no 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 we just talking about that four year yes, period he though. said, he said right, Snoop is I that I listened nigga. to that when, you, when y'all did that right okay. now the thing about Snoop is I think that Snoop is really swept under the rug as far as like as an artist yo like people really don't give him his credit and, and I got a lot of flack for something I wrote like in the comments all I was saying was is that when Pac Pac was a big he was a, a big rapper and all that shit but nobody was Let's keep it 100. People really gave a fuck about you starting. Everybody was in a movie. Everybody was selling a million records. Everybody was going gold or platinum. Not then. Everybody was... Not a, then. A lot of people... That was a big... There was a lot of flops. It, it, it was, all right. Let, discount the movie shit. I'm you just, can't do it. No, no, no. no. I'm, talking about, I'm talking about Pac's moments in his life. Him signing a death row was the biggest move he ever made in his career. But you know Why? Because wow. he was already starring in Above the Rim, because he already had starred in Juice, because yeah. he starred in Poetic Justice with Janet Jackson, Oscar-nominated director John Singleton, because right. he put out Me Against the World right. and went 
uh, number one in the country. Right. Right. And when he was in jail. So that was like Kevin Durant signing with the Warriors. I'm just saying, don't let's. All right. With the Warriors, Damn, let's not discount. That's what that was? But let's not yes. discount the house that Snoop and Dre built. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Like, let's not act like Snoop and Dre. I seen a kid tell me Dre didn't even mean nothing. I said, my nigga, you wasn't oh, even retarded. born when this shit yeah, happened. You guys can't listen to people. Yeah. Like, but this is what I'm saying. It's like people really think. First off, Tupac fans, are the, I'm talking about the hardcore Tupac fans, are the most delusional, craziest motherfuckers on the planet. Why you say that? Because, like... I know from Harlem. He's still mad about Hit'em like Up. My husband. I'm not yeah. mad about Hit'em Up. My I love Hit'em Up. Says, my husband says <laughs> No, listen, sim- Tupac, because they're obsessive. Like, they're yeah. obsessive. Like, Tupac is, is really... He's great. i seen that list. Like, the list, he's 15. I think that's ridiculous that he's 15 on the list. But if we talk about terms of rapping, he wasn't as good as a rapper as a lot of people that's would. Exactly when it comes to technical terms says. of rapping. But the nigga was great at making... He had a song about everything. Things. He yeah. made you feel he things. You feel yeah. things. He wasn't a great lyricist. Like he wasn't a great lyricist. No. But he was yeah. he was a great artist. I think that he's a yeah, great artist. Yeah, that's what I say. Music is supposed to make you feel if it doesn't make you feel things, then what why would you even listen to it? And he had an amazing it? flow in yeah. delivery. But a lot of people can't separate the lyricism from the, the artist. Like, yeah, from the man and his yeah. actions and the, I, what I love about Tupac is that he was us as far as humans being a living contradiction. We all are contradictions. We feel one way and feel the next. He just was doing that shit every five seconds. Yeah. You know what I mean? But Bring them in there. Taylor, go get them. No. Um, as far as as far as Star Power, though, like the the question, what, what Glasses said was, mm-hmm. from 92 to 96, Snoop Dogg was a way bigger star than Tupac, and, and it wasn't even close. Yeah. That's not true. It wasn't true. even close as crazy. But everybody agrees. <laughs> it wasn't even Most close Most West crazy. Coast rappers, people in the West Coast do agree with that. I don't see how. But the crazy thing is, like, when I was a kid, I didn't even view Tupac. I mean, before he got the death row, I didn't view him as a West Coast rapper. Oh. Like he wasn't like a West Coast rapper to me when I was a kid. He's like, technically not. Right? He's technically not. But like I didn't, I just didn't view him as a West Coast rapper. Like you know when when I was, yeah, I didn't think, yeah, I, I didn't look at him as a West Coast rapper at all. I don't know yeah. what I looked at Tupac as. To be honest with you, I wasn't really a big Tupac fan when he, when he was alive. I like I Tupac. Was, I, was I like guy. Tupac, the, the the proud pro black. You know, I like his music too. But like, I just liked his his message. I've always thought he would be a great politician. Was cr- you know, yeah. like like just a leader, one of our leaders type of his thing. His mind was just cr- I mean, rap. I've outlived him ten years, and I still feel like he's older than me. Like for real, like his just his mind and his intellect was just on some other shit to be that young. Yeah. Nala, what year were you born? Nineteen ninety five. I ask you a quick question. Damn. Damn. Who's the biggest star from 1992 to 96? <laughs> Snoop Dogg or Tupac? Tupac. Why do you think that? Wait, you said from 1992. I wasn't born. But but in your mind, so, Tupac's the biggest star. I would say that, yeah, just based off impact. I mean, I I love Snoop. I would love, yeah. I would, he's one of the people I want to meet. But, um, yeah, Tupac. Or maybe just because he passed. And you know when people pass, yeah, it, it has it, more of an impact. Absolutely. I just want to know, why do, why do we discredit the movies? Do you understand mm-hmm. that this guy was starring in movies? Yeah, he had already done three movies by the time the he movies. got the death row. Yeah, like when he was in jail, Madonna was. So, but are we talking about? Uh, are I'm we not ta- saying are we I talking about as an artist? I don't. I'm, that's I don't a good musically. point. You said biggest star. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely two parts. I don't see. I'm just saying wasn't. musically was, was was musically it wasn't a big gap between him and Snoop. Snoop's that when Doggy Style came out, that shit was a big eight hundred thousand eight hundred thousand plus records first week. Another eight hundred thousand physical week. Yes. Ain't no streaming. Niggas is going in the store and from Inglewood. California. Okay. Yes, it was a big deal. It's it was a big deal. Yeah, but Huge. W- listen, I think in, in that moment, Snoop probably was a bigger rap star. Yeah, that's what but I'm that's saying. What I think, that's I what think we're talking about. Star. 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 Yeah, I don't know about star, but rap star. And I Snoop think he was is a from bigger. The West, where Tupac is from, the East and the West. Like people knew him on the East Coast just as they knew him on the West Coast too. Yeah, but Snoop yeah. St- crushed the buildings. What about movies? Why y'all act like y'all ain't like Above the Rim? No, Above the Rim above is a rim fucking classic. classic. Juice. Justice, I'm not discounting none of that. Poetic Justice. No, Yo, you know how Janet big Janet Jackson, Jackson not, was? Listen, yeah, but we're not... I'm not disagreeing with right. you. I'm, I'm in the middle saying... I can't even choose, but me being from LA, I just came, I just flew here from LA. Yeah. It's no question in Los Angeles that Snoop is bigger, was bigger in that era. It's just what it is. 92 to 96. And maybe maybe in LA. And yeah, so but not throughout LA. America. You guys don't know. But yo, but, but <laughs> Snoop, Snoop is there. one of the most, Snoop is one of the, the biggest, like, worldly stars, even till this to, day. To like, this day. Like, it's he's the biggest like, rapper in the world. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. No yeah. question. Right and people don't know that. At, like, and he's the best West Coast rapper ever. But you know what's no. crazy ever. that you said that? No, and so yeah. a lot of people in the West Coast. As far as what? Hip hop. A lot of rap? people in the West Coast don't no. feel like that, though. Yeah. Well, I, I, all the people I, always, I know do. I looked at Snoop as, like, Jay Z of 
of the, of West, the West Coast. Coast. And then I, when I said that, niggas was like, no, he ain't. No, like, so who is? That, so who is? That's, that's, is? What are we talking about, though? Are you talking Rap. about lyrics? Lyrics? Nah, yes. Nah, I got Ice Cube as a beast with lyrically. Yeah, I would choose Snoop. Snoop I is still, I mean, Snoop is the biggest star. Snoop's discography. I would yeah, I would choose it. this. I, I choose, you choose Ice, Ice Cube's discography over, over Snoop's Snoop? discography. It's crazy how y'all yeah. don't remember turning y'all back on Snoop when the second album dropped. I did. Even I though did he not sold two million back. records. It's crazy how y'all don't remember how everybody thought that album was so whack. It's crazy you how. You're talking about the last meal? Not the no, last no, meal. No, exactly. Not the last Dog meal. Father, Dog, Dog Father. Dog Father. Dog Father was trash. trash. I'm not yeah. saying it wasn't. It was a period of time. Yo, y'all hated on Snoop so much he had to sign with No Limit. Nah. I'm just saying. Wait, 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 wait. But I like Snoop. But we talking discography, my nigga. Yeah, we talking about whole. After, body of work after like after Friday this nigga Ice Cube stopped rapping are you yeah. kidding me like oh, I, aside on, from West Side Connection aside from West Side Connection aside from West Side Connection hold on hold on aside from West Side Connection hold on let me, let me name some of these Ice Cube albums because I you you must have forget when Ice Cube came to the East Coast and started working with the Bomb Squad, bro. I th- that was that was hold me on, tell us on, about it then. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, go ahead. Hold on, hold on now. America's Most Wanted. America's what year did that come on? The nine nineteen ninety. Okay, 1990, nigga. I was nine years old. Death certificate. I was one. <laughs> huh? I was Death certificate. Yeah. Okay. Good. Right. When did he stop? When did he stop? That's 93. Yeah, Lethal cool. injection. That's that. That's 93. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. So Snoop at when? When is when the Doggy Style came out? 93. 93. No disrespect to Snoop, but okay. I love Snoop. These first four albums are better than Snoop's catalog. Damn, I don't agree. I don't know about that. Doggy style is the one, and then that. what, Wayno? I don't know about that. Zip Lion? I don't know about that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, and Snoop I had a good Snoop. album with No Limit. But if you go watch Snoop perform, he got records after records, records but we yeah. talking about albums. This Album, guy, all right, albums. After albums. Doggy style, what's the album? Albums, but we, all right, songs. Snoop got better songs. It might be yeah. they might be around even when it comes to s- s- certain songs. Like they, because I ain't gonna act like Ice Cube is sweet. Like he got a lot of shit. Yes, he got a lot of shit. But Snoop has a hell of a discography. I think Cube got to be in the conversation if you're talking about West Coast. But the, the, I, the reason why I say Snoop is because Snoop adapted to damn. Snoop played in every fucking era. Yeah, in yeah. every era, bro. Every era, he got a record in every era. Snoop is like Ice Cube LeBron. don't have a record in LeBron every era. LeBron is still LeBron came into the league with a whole group batch of. Stars that he that he basically outplayed, and then he well, his era he outplayed. Now he a grandpa and he's still outplaying. I, I a give bunch a Kobe. People. Kobe played against Michael Jordan. Y'all he played against this. LeBron. He played against KD. He played against Steph Curry. Y'all he played in a, like a bunch of different eras. Snoop got a record in every almost every yeah. the in the ninety early nineties mid nineties early two thousands late two thousands. Drop it like it's you got a bunch of fucking records. The difference between LeBron. And Wait, let's Jordan. not go back to that. I don't want to say <laughs> See, there's nobody that can say they busted Jordan ass. Yes, there is. You wildin'. It's Ooh. niggas that gave Michael Jordan buckets. Steve Smith used to give him buckets. Steve Smith used to uh, no, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Ta- let's talk, act like what are you talking let's about? Act like, like championships let's, or something? You not in the yeah. championship. Not in the no, championship. Well, we don't act like nobody got any heat. Bro, you acting they used like to watch the heat in the first round of the playoffs I'm all the time. Saying that. I'm that. saying He's you acting like nobody never game. gave Michael Jordan work before. My name no, is I'm talking about Kobe when Bryant gave Michael Jordan work before. All right, think about it, right? Like you got a girl. Like say you was dating a girl. And there's dudes that can say they fucked your girl. Yeah. Can't nobody say they fucked Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan got six. <laughs> Michael Jordan six and zero. Oh. Dirk Rizzo. Nowitzki can Valid. say he fucked Bron. Think Valid. about that. Valid. Dirk Nowitzki can. Dirk Nowitzki is one of the greatest Dirk white Dirk players Dirk ever. He's in my legend, top ten white people all do time. Do what you mean? Don't do the that. The year that they, that, that the Miami Heat were formed. Don't they, bring up Dirk Nowitzki. Dirk Nowitzki got bumped the year he got the fucking MVP. First round exit to the Golden State Warriors. He didn't get bumped by the Miami Heat. That was supposed to and be he, amazing. He lost to the Miami Heat when D Wade shut. Destroyed yeah. them niggas. Yeah, without LeBron. Yeah, I remember with, that. So Ooh. what? But with LeBron? But you bringing Dirk, up Dirk. If Dirk. you bringing up Dirk, you got to bring up every Dirk. Hey. If you had to be yes. Dirk, then you have to be Dirk now, my Dirk nigga. Dirk fucked Dwayne and Dirk. Bron. Dirk is a legend, dog. Dirk, Dirk, Dirk is a legend. Dirk, Dirk is married both to him a beautiful in the eyes. black queen also. <laughs> Yo, Dirk is black. He married a black queen. He's like an African la- woman. Yo, African Dirk, by the way, Dirk got the best fucking. He and shit. Because that was the year after that big carnival. Remember they had the big carnival in Miami? Remember they had the big carnival in Miami? Win eight to nine championships. Well, anybody's gonna Dirk say that. Fuck them that year. They, they outplayed. Can't nobody right. look Michael Jordan across the table and say I fucked him. Nope. Respect. I said, don't booty. act like nobody. Virgin gave booty Jordan. in the NBA Finals. Respect. In the NBA Finals, he played a long time. Don't act like nobody never gave him buckets. That's what I'm saying. Nah, in individual games, yeah. Buckets don't count. No. 
And nobody, no, nobody remembers that. All you remember at the end of the day remembers is that? who won the championship. He, then, is, then Allen Iverson only had one one game. Then if, that, if that's the case, yeah. And, and, nah, if, no, nah, no, 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 no. Don't say that. Yeah, Allen Iverson had one game in life if, if buckets don't he count. He got Listen, swept after he won about, that one game. One game. In the Allen is the only player who doesn't have a ring that doesn't seem like he doesn't have a ring. What do you mean? No, he's doesn't not. seem like. Who, yes, Patrick Ewan Barkley. seems ringless. Ba- ringless is his mother. He seems ringless yeah. as a mother. Charles Barkley no, won an MVP. Then Charles Barkley won an MVP. Carl Malone but seems ringless. MVP. Yeah. Allen looks like he's a champion. No, to he me. does not. Not what I'll, to I me? know. No, he he's still waiting for a Reebok check. He's that. No. Really? Yeah, no. You don't consider him a cultural champion? Cultural, cultural champion. What are you talking dog, about? You Where's the conversation? Don't make out <laughs> chill, dog. Let's move on. Let's pay, let me pay some bills. Shout out to LeBron. Postmates. All right, other than your absolute best friends, who could you ask to bring you red wine at 4 p.m., sushi at 9 p.m., and a breakfast burrito at 8 a.m.? Uh, Postmates. Postmates is your personal food delivery, grocery delivery, whatever you can think of delivery service all year round. No more trips to the store. You don't even have to know where the store is. Postmates will deliver anything to you. Download the app for iOS and Android for free. Browse local restaurants and businesses and track your delivery. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Postmates will bring you what you want within the hour, okay? Any Anything you're craving, Postmates can deliver. They're the largest on-demand network in the known universe with more than 25,000 partner merchants, all right? For a limited time, Postmates is giving our listeners $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days. To start your free deliveries, download the app right now and use code IDIOTS. That's code IDIOTS for $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days when you download the Postmates app. Get anything you need anytime you need it. Download Postmates and save with code IDIOTS. LeBron is a goat, though. I don't want to. I don't want people to think that. I don't <laughs> think he's a goat. Yeah, don't do that. No, he is a goat. He's a goat. He's one of the greatest of all time. And it's okay to say that. That's a crazy accomplishment to be one of the greatest ever. And anything. yeah, absolutely, At anything. At anything, absolutely. And so, just a kid from Akron. And that's why I think these lists that everybody making this week is bullshit. Mm. Is that the rap list? Yes, man. This is yeah. I had I had to sign off because this is just too much rap talk for me. I'm an R and B kind of girl, mm. and I was just like, I'm not finna do this with y'all. On that's my Instagram. problem. My I already told you who the best rapper alive is, and you don't agree with me. Who's that? Who? Drake. He's not. Stop <laughs> it. I don't even know why you say things like that. <laughs> okay. Jay Z just took some pictures yesterday. Jay-Z don't, I, I don't count him no more though. You don't count him no more. Nah, I don't nah, count him no more. That's just my opinion. He's a god. Like I feel like he's a, he's he's, I feel he's like on Mount Jay-Z Rushmore. Jay Z shouldn't be in that category either at this huh? point. He Who? shouldn't be on a list. He got the nah, statue. He's not on no list. Yeah, he got the statue. But I mean, he's he's in your top five or your you know what I mean. If you you have to include that. Jay Z. Obje- first of all, Ghostface Killer is my personal favorite rapper of all time. Mm-hmm. My personal favorite rapper is Ghostface Killer. The greatest rapper of all time is, is Sean Carter. And it's not okay. even. It's real. It's honestly not even close. You're it's probably close. right. It's but Jay Z has close. never made me want to have sex to his music. Because um, he ain't making them kind of yeah, records. Yeah, so he's not, I have you an opinion. Know. I have an opinion. You see what I mean? And I think, America has an opinion. I think Jay is Jordan. And Drake sells a lot of records. Do, do it again. No, I ain't doing that. I think, I think <laughs> Jay is Jordan. That one time. And I think Drake is LeBron. Wow. I do. Really? I think, I think Drake is LeBron then, and I think Kanye is Kobe. <laughs> mm, that's weird. I do. That's weird. What uh, what part of Kobe's yeah. career is this? Yeah. <laughs> that's weird. Like for real. I think it's the I think it's the Kobe that won five championships. Right now? What you mean? Kanye. So Kanye, no, so right now, now, now no, so no, Kanye no, no, no. right now is torn is torn Achilles. Torn Achilles, absolutely. Oh, okay, 100%. Cool. 100%. Okay. I, I feel 100%. you. And what only, do you what do you, what is your issue with the list? Do you guys have issues with the list? I don't know who made the list. Yeah. I don't know who made it. Why are we why right. we giving this shit credibility? We don't even know who the fuck made that I shit. I don't know the dude. Joe Budden might have made that list and put That's him first number three. When I see yeah. Joe, I said, how the fuck is Joe the Joe, 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 yo, Speaking of Joe, the last week I just heard a song by Joe Budden where I was told he was talking about LL Cool J and his wife. Do you guys know this song? No. <laughs> what? But Joe Oh, I gotta play it for you. It's crazy. He talks about going to Vegas and fucking his wife. And is that Joe? That Joe. Or is Budden. it somebody impersonating him? No, it's Joe. <laughs> but, no, but Joe. Uh, let me not take nothing from Joe. Who Joe? Joe is today is not the rapper. He what? He's a fucking great rapper, and a lot of people can't tie shoes when it comes to rapping. If you got to put him on a song, off. he can rap around a lot of people. My he biggest, don't make great records though. He he didn't. But I think that he made the records that satisfied his fan base. That's fan base. Word up. Now with this list, my biggest problem I had with this list was one. There's no women on this list. First of all, I don't say one thing. That's what mm. Brad said. She said I don't know anything about what Miko was talking about. Joe mm-hmm. Budden sleeping with LL Cool J. I'm about to find out the name <laughs> of the song. I don't want no right problem now. with LL Cool J. LL Cool J will beat the shit out you. Oh, God. All right? 
Okay. All right. Okay, and then cool. the next thing I had, I think that there's a lot of, of the right people on here, but the placements are wrong. There's no women in his in the placements on here is all wrong to me. First of all, I don't give a fuck about this list because I don't know who wrote it. I don't know why this can go on the internet and everybody start giving this shit credibility. We don't know where this shit came from. Because the internet, nigga. That it shit is matter. whack. Yeah. You seen a kid that was faking like he was Travis Scott and almost broke him and Kylie Jenner into some bullshit yeah. cause, just because he, he could? Did a, he did a whole Yeah, it's fake. like people do shit just because they can. These niggas is lit. If they don't drop an album after this, they need to do something with this shit. Ooh, like, we don't know where that came from. It came from The Brew. It's a, uh, some dudes that do a podcast called The Brew or some shit like that. Is what oh, I, I never heard of it. And well, now they lit. And I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. They, they should have put they should have put at The Brew on here somewhere. Somewhere so that. we know where it came from. Well, I didn't know I heard that it from there. Cincinnati though. These dudes is from Cincinnati or some shit. Is there like any it. rappers from Cincinnati? Bow Wow. <laughs> no. Like legend. I said, is there any rappers from legend. Cincinnati? Whole legend. Bow Wow's a legend. Legend. Whole legend. legend. Bow Wow's a legend. Bow Wow's a legend. Whole legend. Bow Wow's a legend. See y'all Watch think about Wow now. Bow Wow was selling out the garden legend, 20 yo. times a I night. I don't care. Bow Wow's a legend. You know, you know how dope you got to be to sell out the garden 20 times in one night? I don't care. So did a whole bunch of people that don't matter. Nah, Bow Wow, <laughs> yo, he birthed a nation. <laughs> Bow Wow, Bow wow Pe- is listen, lost. people would give no people would give Bow Wow so much respect if he was taller. <laughs> I swear to no, I'm dead yeah, serious. If he was taller, they wouldn't I think play if with he him didn't like make that. Make up yeah. lies and fake do something. Nah, if fake he was taller, none shit, of that shit would ever happen. It wouldn't, ma- it wouldn't have happened. It wouldn't have happened. So if he you're was saying taller. he wouldn't do the corny shit that he did if he no, was taller? No, I'm just saying people would give him respect. Niggas wouldn't call him Bow Wow, they'd call him Shad if he was taller. If yeah. Bow Wow was six feet, people were and and I, it's fucked up. Because that's a lot on his mind, man. Like a lot of shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm being, no, I'm, nah, I'm gonna keep it all the way hundred. He do have a complex. No, I'm gonna keep he it. He got a complex. He got a complex. Yo, he was a kid. Like he was a kid. I can't imagine like having to wake up and fucking rehearsing shit at ten years old and all this other stuff. He did so much shit before he was eighteen years old. Yeah, but he's still stuck in that, and that's the problem. He still yeah. thinks that's he's when a little he just bow said wow. That. He hit it If you would have been just... taller, I'm t- ask that nigga that question, yo, my nigga. If you was taller, you think people would treat you the way you, you do? <laughs> Bow Wow is, I guarantee you Bow Wow's going through a midlife crisis right now. He did that whole, I hit it first. Didn't he do that, I hit it first thing with Sierra? Yeah, he did. Why? That's so corny. You didn't hit it first. First of all, like you really didn't. But it's just corny to say. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like imagine having Bow Wow as a body. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, but see, they you, married, the butter. you married to Russell Wilson. Now Did y'all see great. those pictures of him with her on his tippy toes taking pictures with her? <laughs> nah, it's bad. Because he became cool. the butter people joke because of his height. Yeah. You know, with guns the size of Little Bow Wow. Right? Did you see the shit that Conceda said? <laughs> what did he say? Well, he, uh, said, he, said, he, said, he said, your bitches must be psychics because they keep seeing the future. You ain't seen no, that no, no, Yo, no, on Wildin' no. Out, because you know his, his, his Sierra yeah, and his other baby yeah. mom, that's crazy. That line was crazy. Oh, young Jeezy predicted, he was sick. Young Jeezy predicted uh, the fall of Lil Bow Wow, and he's the first person to use Bow Wow as a verb. No, maybe it was 50. But when he said, um, first off, I'm a motherfucking G, and I never let a bitch little Bow Wow well, me. Yeah. I never understood why he said that back in the day. Oh, but God. now I say it all the time. I'd be like, don't let her. I, I told somebody that the other day, I told an artist that day, yo, stop bow wowing yourself, yo. Oh my God. I did. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I did. Yo. So you stop think bow wowing yourself. changes his whole if he, yo, trajectory I, of I, his right life. Now, I swear to God, yo, bow wow. And if bow wow would have been like 6'3, people wouldn't joke with him like that. But would he be bow wow, though? If he he wouldn't be bow wow. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It, it, the perception would be different because everybody looks at him as like this little guy. He's a grown man. He's still bite sized. <laughs> Is he really? shorter than like Lil Wayne, mm-hmm. though? Uh, he's he's be on the same height as most But Lil Wayne though. always was Lil Wayne. Like he, he yeah, came he's in the game with Lil Wayne. He's Lil Bow Wow. Exactly. He's not Lil Bow Wow no more. Lil Bow Wow. You no just don't know. Because <laughs> Bow Wow's not yeah, really man, his I'm name. Not joking, man. Bow Wow's right, not even his name. You know, his Wayne. His name is Shad Moss. Yeah. And people would call him Shad Moss if he was 6'1. Yeah. <laughs> oh nah. God. Yes, they would. I don't they believe that. They would have called him. Because I'm telling you, because a lot of rap niggas would be like, nah, yo, nigga Bow Wow probably give it up. Big Bow Wow. Imagine Big Bow Wow. Nah, that's wild. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you, you the only thing I do like about these lists that I'm seeing is the fact that it is generational rappers on there. But there's no women on that rap list. That, that yeah, how you don't that, have Missy on there? How you don't have Brett? On no, there. it depends Brat, what you're talking the about. Brett should be on there. It, yeah, okay, if you're talking about lyrics, <laughs> yes, yes, the Brett should be on the there. Brat is, the, what are we talking about when we talk about these lists? Are we talking about impact? Are we talking about lyrics? Are we talking about album sales? What are we talking about? It, it's a lot because I felt like, and even with me being from home, I feel like May shouldn't have been on there. Nope. Well, should not be he on got there. one classic album. I don't. You don't like Harlem World. I, I have Harlem. I still play that to I mean, to this day. No, I, I love. I, I loved me at that time, but like 
He had one good like he you're had right. no he had a few good years and then after ninety seven that was it. Yeah, Ooh, you're right. Mace, you're right. After ninety seven, nobody cares about welcome back. You're right. Nobody cares about that June shit. I, I, I'm on record and I'll say this till I'm blue in the face. Harlem World is trash. Wow. Trash is, is that's strong. A, that's trash, a, okay, that's let's go to the trash list. Right. Right. No, because that's strong. No, I, now, now, this. now, it is. I don't think it's a classic. It's a trash I mean, album. It's cool. To Maybe me, it was cool. Bro, it's trash. I fucking love I was, that the, album. When Howlin' World came out, I was disappointed. You want to know why I was disappointed, though? Because I was in high school, and, we, and that was we had this whole Brooklyn Harlem thing, and Jay-Z was the man, and Mace was like, Mace was a bigger artist than Jay at that time. But he was selling more records listen, than Jay. Listen, I'm not a rap person. 20 though. tracks. I'm not a rap person. Tracks. And I'm from L.A. And I think Harlem World is a classic. Garbage. <laughs> Let's go through it. Do you want to get money with Puff Daddy? Yeah, that was trash. Trash. Take What's Yours featuring DMX. Decent. Niggas want to know. That's a decent song. I'm going to take yours. That shit. That's that a was decent good. song. That was cool. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. That was cool. I like Will that. they die for you featuring, featuring Puff Daddy? Oh, I love that song. Will they die for you was How good. How many niggas are right, happy? Looking at me was fire. Yes, why are you song. over there? Come on, but I'm gonna give y'all that. I'm gonna give y'all that. All right, yes. right. Uh, love you so featuring Billy Lawrence. I hated that. The Regular. play away featuring Nate Ball. That was hard. That was hard. Niggas want to act. That, that was, was hard. The, that's, the be, that's the best record on the album. That was hard. Feel so good. Hard. Hard. What you want? Hard. hard. Yes. Hard. Cheat on you. Cheat on. Wait. That's decent. With Lucy no, Cheat on you is that's a decent. Twenty four hours to live. Fire. Fire. I need to be featuring Monifa. Nah. Want to hurt Mace? Like. I, like, thing, I didn't like I'm gonna tell you why I didn't like one of her mates because he spit it on the radio Jealous Guy Jealous Guy was fire Classic fired. Jealous Guy was fire That shit is garbage yeah. Jealous Guy was fire Are you serious? Jealous Guy was fire Yo, you from South Carolina Jealous Guy 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 New edition oh shit over. That shit was garbage. Days. You could There's do that to me. So out of 20, my name is, my name is Pop, Puff Daddy. I'm, I'm a Scorpio and I'm not a jealous guy. guy. That's him so classic. So out of 20... It was a good album. Out of, out, of, out, of, out of 20 tracks... Not giving it, it to you, Charlamagne. Out of 20 tracks, four, five are interludes. Whatever. Y'all named... Y'all, and that's, so let's go Let's go. That's, 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 that's 14 songs. 14 songs. Y'all named... Five bangers. No, no. And y'all, I just said more than five. Y'all said five bangers. Everything else was like, I. No, I said more than five. You said, I do you want to get what's whack? That was whack. I said more You said take what's yours was whack. No, no, we did not say it was whack. You said I. I said that was good. That was good. Nah. Will they die for you? Will they die for you? Classic. Nope. Oh, my God. I didn't like that. Niggas gonna die for you. Looking at me. Fire. Okay, that's one. That's the first fire we got, and we six tracks in. And that's not No, but you looking at you. That's not the best interlude. Say that in that white girl interlude ain't one of the best interludes ever. We three songs in. We three songs in. Looking at me is the first one y'all said was fire. Arvion? Remember yep. Arion? Love yep. You So. All the bad so. I didn't like Love You So. The Play Away. Play Away is fire. fire. All right, so that's two. Niggas Want to Act. Yeah, Niggas Want to Act is fire. Three. Feel So Good is fire. Four. What You Want is fire. Five. Okay. Cheat on You. Jealous cool. Guy. 24 Hours Live. Six. Fire. I Need hours. to Be. No. Watch Your Back. That's in a loop. Want to Hurt Mace. Want to Hurt Mace. I didn't like that only because he spit on the radio. And Jealous Guy, which you, I've never that's heard anybody eight say. eight songs that's right seven. there. seven. I counted eight. That's seven out of how many I songs? Out of eight. Four, out of 14. 14. That's I counted half, eight. Nigga. That's, a, that's an average. Garbage. I counted eight. eight. Garbage. Eight. You could make the Hall of Fame show at 50%. Thank you. Nah. But, but, but Mace shouldn't be on that list, though. No way. You right. Not with that. You right. Not with a you subpar that's, album. That's what we come with. You right. Okay. Who else? Who else? And then we can go to the top 50 R&B. What? I can't believe we're talking about this. Let's go to... E- at least he got more credibility. I can't even see... It. He wrote this? Oh, never mind. I can't see it. Mike Tyson even put out a list today. You serious? <laughs> Every Lish Tongue yeah, rapper was top I three. That shit. Fuck you it. All the Lish Tongue rappers were top three. He had Biggie, <laughs> Cool G Rap. Yo, did he put 50 Tyson in there? 50 Tyson. 50 Tyson. 50 Tyson. <laughs> Yo, Remember we had that special yeah, ad era? Kabat, the special ad. When, niggas, when people was trying to flip retarded people? By the way? No, for real, they was yeah, trying they to flip were, them. They, they were, trying they to flip them. JJ Icefish. JJ Icefish. They were. Yes. hilarious. But yes. then A-Town, yes. they was like, but I, I knew dudes that was like, I'm going to find the little the special needs nigga in my hood and, and put, put some money on. behind it. And put him on. They were. They was it was a, that. There was a wave that was happening. The reason I fuck with Mike Tyson's Wait, Mike list, Tyson really made it. Because number one, Mike Tyson is a hip hop head, and Mike Tyson is the only person, unless I'm mistaken, that I've seen Scarface on. His okay, list. what makes Mike Tyson a hip hop head? Yeah, what? He grew up I, in that era. That makes him a hip hop head. Man, watch out. Like, so yeah. people, people care about Mike Tyson's music opinion? Nah, That's but all I think, I'm but, I, but Mike was the first person that was like, at least on a mainstream level that I can really remember bad, embracing hip hop in a mm. real, real it's way. Coming to the ring with yeah, rappers, yeah, coming to the did. ring to rap he songs. Yeah. You know he what I'm saying? He, was, he, 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 he got Melly Melon here. 
Now, oh yeah, I mean, listen, it's generational. It's generational. It's generational. It's definitely I didn't grow up on Melly Mel. I don't know what Melly Mel was, but I know he's the I first person about... I saw with Scarface on the list. No, I said the people had an issue because I said that about Rakim. Oh no, no, this dude had face on there. Because I said that about Rakim, like Rakim doesn't mean to me what, what Jada Kiss means. To me. And that's what you know. What I've heard a lot, like whenever I hear people having a debate about hip hop, Rakim is easily the name I hear the most, like the most. As Rakim like, taught all these new niggas, how like to rap. the greatest. He did. Like but people I, say lyrically, he is like the greatest. But you know what the problem I be having with that is, like a person that asks me, yo. Like, people watch Paid in Full and be like, yo, how was New York in 88? I'd be like, nigga, I was five years old. I don't fucking know. Like, yeah. or they, they, or, like, Oh, I thought you meant like they thought you was Wood Harris. That's why they was asking you. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But no, but even yo, with Rakim, I didn't, Harris, I didn't like, I way, started man. to understand Rakim's music <laughs> as I got older. I didn't, Set like. a flashback, my bad. I was playing a celebrity basketball game. <laughs> yeah, no, like, hold on. Let me get to that. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wait, <laughs> no, I just said, no, that was crazy. But no, all I said is that, like, I didn't grow up, like, listening to Rakim. Like, I went and back and listened, but. Like first hip hop song I ever heard was Rock Him. First hip hop song I heard was uh, "Walk This Way." Run DMC. My cousin Ty let me hear Rock Him when I was ten years old, I believe nine, nine, ten years old. Paid in full. First rap song I ever heard, or at least the one that caught my attention. That was the first one that ever caught my attention. Like, oh Damn. shit, what is this? But why you say fuck with Harris? That's the type of shit. You, you ain't never heard that in your life. No, <laughs> it, it ain't fuck him. You ain't never I heard just anybody say fuck with back. Harris. It's childish. It's really petty. I feel bad I even said that. I was playing in a celebrity game, and we were down two. I was on fire. I was hitting the shots. And then it was a last play. We had called a timeout to, call, to draw up a play for me to hit a shot and win the game. And he, t instead of setting the screen for me, he slipped the screen and got the ball. F the nigga passed it to him from out of bounds and he shot the three and missed it and we lost the game. You on the team with Motar. And I was looking at him first. like, <laughs> the play was for me. But well, you might have how, how many two? years ago was this? <laughs> this was, <laughs> yeah, this was, this was 95. Why are you holding on to this? Probably, 2005. Yeah. Why are you holding on yeah. to this? I shouldn't. That's why I said it was petty as fuck. <laughs> I, and I even yeah. said that. I just had a flashback. <laughs> that is a flashback. It was like a bad flashback. Let that go. I, I got to let that go. <laughs> Wood hair is my bad, dog. I didn't mean it. I love you. My Wait bad. Yeah. Why are we giving this list credibility? I don't. Are we giving it credibility or are we just discussing it because it start, uh, started a conversation? I think it's we just... And I think top 50 is way too much. Why don't you I, put I don't out a list, Charlamagne? Yeah, Where's your, list? your list? I, I'm What's be honest up? with you, I don't give a fuck that much. So why you give a fuck about their list then? Because I don't like the fact that... Well, until I found out that it came... I didn't know who it came from to mm -hmm. where we were giving so much credibility to this list. You know what I'm saying? And there's certain things that are just biased. Like, it's not an objective list. When you got Joe Budden at your number three yeah. greatest rapper of all time, <laughs> you just love Joe Budden, which is cool, but you're not going to make the rest of the world believe some shit that we know is not true. Was, this might They might have trolled us the whole shit, though. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I, cause right. I even feel like I even feel like Big Pun being forty fourth is crazy. That's like, disrespect. That's crazy. DMX being twenty two is crazy. Tupac being fifteen is crazy. Like, and what's the list based off? Yeah, that's the other thing I want to know. We didn't do any research, but I mean, they probably had a whole you know podcast about, about this list. None of us listened to it. We just saw they list. That's their fault for putting it out with no context. There's no rules to making lists, though. That's yeah. the, the tough thing. There's no rules to making lists, so it's like everybody has a different criteria as to why their favorite are. Like it's niggas that's gonna say yeah. Jay Z is my favorite rapper because he had the number one album and caught a gun charge the same year. Like. People, Lord have mercy. people say shit like that. And like, Drake, crazy. that's why Drake's my favorite because I, I listen to his music so much and so much of my life revolved around Drake lyrics. It's just what it is. So that, but that, am I, am I wrong? Lyrics. No. Am I wrong? <laughs> that's your guy. I understand. Yeah. I fuck with Drake. Drake is one of the, I, I put him as one of the best ever. Like, I definitely think yeah. he's one of the best ever. Look at Charlamagne. Look. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He is. He no, object, not objectively, he is. He's one of the. He's yeah. one of the greatest ever. I mean, but it's, it depends though. Like, listen, regardless of whether he writes his music or not, I'm gonna still say he's one of the greatest ever because it's very rare that you can find somebody in any genre of music that can do all those different genres Everything, of music yeah. successfully. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He ta know? he takes me to the club. He get when, whenever you know you go through a breakup or you having a fight, even not even with a man, just with your friends. Then he makes music for sex. Then he just talks to us as women all the time he's always talking to us like like a lot of rappers like the reason I don't like hip hop that much is because most of it is about like like the the content is stuff that I can't relate to mm. 
Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Drake be talking about, I should have told you I was coming in town so you could have got a shift off from work. That speaks to all of us. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah, see yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Not when it's yeah. Marvin's room. You know, that, 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 uh, yeah. that's when you don't want to yeah. hear. You find out, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, but you, but you see what I mean? Like, like a lot of hip hop to me, I, I, I get mad because whenever people say, well, he's not a real rapper because he didn't write his own lyrics. But what happens if a person writes a song that's not true, even though it's their lyrics? Is that still cool? That's all subjective, though. You see what I mean? Because it depends on what we're talking about. But I think I don't think that he didn't write anything. I think he got caught with a little couple things that yeah. he got caught with. But I, he, he can't be that good and not, not write that. Somebody like, helping. If yeah. I could, if somebody was writing that much for me, like, and I'm not saying that like people yeah. writing the four a.m.s or the six a.m.s, but if you rap like that, there's no way possible you don't know how not to do good. that. Shit. Yeah. I don't care when great people use good. performance and answer drugs. Yeah, it's the PED. If you already great, and yeah. you use the PED, great. Yeah. It's not gonna make you any more greater than you already are. You understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's, it's not like it's not like the the wackest nigga on the team can take performance enhancing drugs and then become Drake. You're right. Mm-hmm. It's not gonna happen. Correct. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's just enhancing. That's what I say about you. HGH and sports and everything. I should I think they should allow athletes to use it because just because right. you take HGH, that doesn't Don't mean, mean right. you're gonna get to the league. No, you know, yeah. 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, you're right. I, I'm not gonna front though. Drake is the last person that made me feel hate though. Why? I saw that nigga house on Instagram. And I, I, <laughs> Jesus. Bro, I hated for like thirty seconds. I, was like, I mean, I, I mean, I was just like filled with hate. Like, See? and I and I was. I'm inspired. not even gonna lie, Jordan. I was, I was I, I, after the thirty seconds because you know you say little, you watching it and you say little petty shit like fuck. He got lights on his house, boy. You know what I'm saying? That's little petty that shit. Christmas, and you know, yeah. I didn't say it to nobody. I was just saying it to myself. And then I'm looking. I'm like. Fuck, he got a bar and then the basketball. You can overlook yeah. the bar. The, you can stand on the bar and overlook the basketball court. Yeah. That's some bullshit. I'm like, I'm in my mind. I'm like, why? Nigga, because he can. Because he, he can. Yeah. And I ain't mad at him. You earned that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you should build the house of your motherfucking dreams. Yeah. And then you start hating again. Like, he ain't got no family, though. <laughs> you know, he ain't got no wife at home. Oh, that was dark. His kid don't live with him. He just imagine drinking that big ass house. Big ass house, house. house. <laughs> lonely as hell. And that's what I, I need. Some company. I want to go for it. I, it, was, it was pure. Hate, hate. And, and, and it's fine if you can recognize that in yourself, and then right. you turn and you that hate be... into motivation. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then you start hating again. You're like, "What the fuck am I motivated by a thirty something year old nigga from Canada?" <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> that's how you feel, man. But I respect it. I'm not yeah. mad at him. Like, yo, that's that's a he, that's that's what you work hard for. Yeah. That's the type of shit you should have. That's all I the think. sacrifices, everything uh, he's done, and and he can, he can do those. Yeah, type you of things. Like, I hate when people think like. You got to do what you what they want you to do with your money. Like, yeah, no. It's my money. If I want to take this shit out and set it on fire, I can. You get your ass some and do something. Oh, like, let me ask you this, being a father. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that way about baby mothers that get child support? I got one baby mother, so I don't But I do you feel way. like like a, oh. a woman, like a guy is always saying, like, I give her this much money and this is what she does with it. It's none of your business once you give it to her. She I mean, can do you, whatever she the, wants I, to I just be it. looking at shit like that. Like, that's the penalty. That, that's a penalty in the game. Like, it's like a foul. Like, yeah. You know I mean, it's like, mm. that's a penalty that comes with being successful. It's like, because I seen something one time where an artist had to pay, like, I think he had to pay, like, $9,500 a month for child support, right? Mm-hmm. $9,500 a month. What the fuck you need $9,500 a month? It's not even about right, that. Right, but but look, but then when he was in a movie or some shit, they upped it to, like, 18000 or yeah. some shit. I'm like, damn, so, like... like is it based on the child? Is it based on the? the it, this person? is what like, it is. Like, it create. This is the what you should understand. So if you're if you want to give her basic living arrangements, yeah. and that's you, you know just enough to live nice, comfortable, not nothing great. Right. As soon as your kid goes to his dad's house to visit, he don't want to go back oh, yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Like, see what I, I, mean? I mean? I went with my kids living in the like. I, yeah. I, I went in like. If I wasn't in a situation, I wouldn't have like be living in some crazy ass house and my kids. Now, but that's how pe- people but, think that it should be because I ain't, I ain't gonna be paying for no. I ain't got nothing to do with your poor ass mama, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Would, no. would, would, they should change child support and they should have that money go to the kid and the kid yeah. get it when they're eighteen or, years old. Or you should make better raw decisions. That is very true too. Yeah. But Period. that's okay. That's what, the, but, but women be hitting licks too on, on kids. They be hitting licks whatever. on kids. All right, so so when a, when a judge says, you know what, you you had a baby with her, you know she she got to you introduced her to a certain lifestyle. Like y'all fucked in a Holiday Inn Express, All right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's why I fucked. So that's the lifestyle. That's where yes. it started. I didn't yeah. know her before this, yeah. Sean. I Make fucked her one night, decisions. and then she nine months later she's pregnant. So yes, we'll Your keep that. Your nut is worth eighteen thousand dollars. No, we're gonna keep home. that Holiday Inn lifestyle. Your nut. Free breakfast. Your ski Free breakfast. Ski, your that's juice it. That's is worth eighteen thousand dollars a month. You should be careful where you squirt it. 
You right. might got a point. Yeah, you really <laughs> But I just think with the child support, it should go to the child. child support, You're right. Now, spousal yeah. support something I else. I think that what yeah, they could do is change child support in a way that the child gets it when they're 18 That's or what something I'm saying. like that. Yeah. No, Not man, all it, of it, because you like still got to live. Shit, you still, she's, the mother still has to live. It's different. Live when, what? when a man has a baby and, and he's not in the household with her, mm-hmm. he has a life. He can, he doesn't need a nanny. He don't need to take off work if the baby's sick. It's a lot of stuff that women have to deal with. And I'm not saying that validates $18,000. What I'm saying is you don't have to deal with that when you're not in the house with the child. She has to pay for things you don't know about. A thousand dollars. You know? Why well, I, I just don't like the a thousand dollars a month. <laughs> Andrew nigga, Yang, what? universal basic wage. You can wage. work at McDonald's and make more than no, that. Yes. Universal basic wage, thousand dollars a month, she good. Nah. Listen, it's it's just all it's it's a all a hustle. Yeah, you, you, you just gotta know. I don't pay child support. Oh. I'm not in no he situation lucky. when when I'm lucky. I'm not in that situation at all. He's mm. blessed. I'm gonna say blessed. I'm not in that he situation. He made at correct all. raw decisions. I did. I absolutely. I, listen, there was some, some bumps along the way, but hey, I did. She, I brought some wrong things, bumps. but you know, that's what abortions are. <laughs> <laughs> Not, <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. Look, they trying to ban abortions. That's crazy. They trying to tell. This only thing we own is our pussy. And they want to tell us what to do with that, too? That's wild. Jesus. Mm, Shit. That's wild. I think anybody that wants to ban abortions never had the wrong person pregnant. Mm. Mm. That's a very interesting some perspective because some real shit. I sympathize with you on that one. Yeah, <laughs> right. and even since some some men don't want the abortion, women want the abortion sometimes. Absolutely, you know? the two times I've had abortions, three, the two times, three, <laughs> whatever, three. <laughs> it, just I didn't have, it wasn't my choice yeah. ever. I asked my husband. I wasn't tripping. Like, okay, all right. I asked my husband to abort my son when I was pregnant because I had just gotten um, a job, a a sports reporting job, and they will fire you as a reporter if you're pregnant. That's crazy. And I was like, this is like my, I was was so excited. I hadn't got the job yet, but I had made the final stages of the um, interviewing, and there was only two people left, and I felt like I was going to get it. And I found out I was pregnant, and I was like, yo, can we just abort this one right quick and then have another one later? Yeah, (laughs) put on pause. (laughs) And he was just like, no. Uh, because you know I was thinking about my career like I had been working my ass off I went to school graduate everything and and then I found out I was pregnant yeah. so right did you have the abortion? Was, no my son's 8 years old oh got you got you got <laughs> yeah, you got you but I wanted to and my husband was like nah does nah. your son know about this? that you yes. wanted to abort him right quick? <laughs> yes he knows I why would aborted you tell him you. that at 8? <laughs> I told I've told my son had knows his entire journey into earth. I've really? told it through voice and I have documented it video. Mm. I've been documenting my pregnancy since I found out I was I was pregnant and he's wow. yeah. Wow. But I mean I'm truthful. I'm honest with my son. I tell him every, I want him to know everything. I want nobody else to walk into his face and tell him nothing about his mother or his father or his life that he hasn't already heard. That shit is depressing though you. when you start thinking about like abortions and stuff like that. Yeah, my, my dad told me that his mom told him she tried to drink something to to, to get rid of him. Oh God, for real? Like get rid she of tried, you? Not, or no, your dad. My, my, my dad told oh, me his mom. My tried to get rid of him. Said, like she tried to get rid of him. He's the oldest of five, but she. So he always like had like a a bit of res. I wouldn't say resentment, but they had a crazy relationship. Like you know what yeah. I mean? They had a crazy relationship. Cause like knowing your mom was like she not even abortion. I don't know if they was even. Let me not say it, it was not doing abortions. I don't know what time. They probably was doing the hanger stuff. All types of wild shit. Yeah. yeah. So, but he just was like, he just was cold from that moment on when he found that out. When he was, <laughs> he felt the way. Right, two about of my kids would be two of my kids would be wild old right now. <laughs> like 20 something I'm serious yeah, too, They'd have been in here Arguing about this Top 50 list yeah. <laughs> I'm serious They'd have no, been like 20 something years old You know what's crazy about that I got friends that's like I'm 36 But I got friends That's becoming grandparents now Like Yeah Like I got friends My that's friends in 30, I, got, I, I yes. had a homie that was 30 Like 36 And became a grandfather Yeah But but the shit that's so messed up About it is like I'm, I'm seeing dudes Like from my neighborhood Who like Have a kid really young Go to prison Come home, and then by the time they come home, their son is off to prison. Crazy. Oof. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Like, that Crazy. shit is, like, I'm witness. That shit yeah. is insane. And, Crazy. That, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that he's in prison. Yeah, because it's like the blind leading the blind. Yeah. There was nobody there to break the generational curse. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. All right, guys and gals. I think that's it. You got to go anyway, right, Miko? Yes, but can I just talk about um, my podcast? Yeah, of course. I have a podcast. Hey, check it out. You, (laughs) yes, I would love to have you on because I, I see now you got a great sports IQ. Thank you, and that would be pretty cool to have. Fuck all y'all on Twitter. That's because y'all agree on LeBron. Oh God, (laughs) I'm I'm gonna make sure I argue. I like to argue with people on my podcast. I will find a way for us to argue. We're gonna find a way. But I have a podcast, iHeart Miko Podcast. I'm doing my first live show August 31st. Uh, my three year anniversary for my show I hope you guys support Congrats. me thank you very much thank you it's going to be in Miami um, 
Labor Day weekend. And uh, it's going to be fun. It's yeah. not going to be a typical sports podcast. It's going to be pretty fun and entertaining. During Hot Girl Weekend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm out the country that weekend. Yes. A lot of people are out of the country or doing all kinds of stuff. But we're going to be doing a live show. So if you guys are interested, make sure you check out my Instagram, iHeartMiko. And I have a YouTube channel as well. So you can check out my podcast on there and everything Miko. Hey, what about you, Wayno? Uh, Everyday struggle still going strong. Everyday struggle still going strong. You know, Ackle off any weight? No, of course not. Sick. I ain't seen that in a minute. I can talk to that. I got to hit that up. I, 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 I doing good though. But yeah, everyday struggle, and then you know, I just became a v- VP of ANR at Asylum. So hey, congratulations! Oh, Thank you, everybody. I appreciate that. So I'm signing new acts. You know what I mean? Trying to break new acts, and then I also got my company trying to go offense. You know what I mean? Then we get the everyday struggle. You can catch me on everyday struggle Monday through Thursday on YouTube, 12 p.m. And I just want to say, LeBron is a god off the court. Whatever. One more thing. King on the court. <laughs> I got a job at Dish Nation, too, by the way. Oh, that's I, an actual st- job? Yes. What you doing? Talking shit on TV. Oh, you on the TV show? <laughs> yes. Oh. Wow. That's the you do. Monday on Bravo? I started Bravo? Monday. It's on Fox. Fox. So, so Portia not on there no more? She is. She is. So, is you I'm Portia? doing part-time right now because I, I can't live in Atlanta, I, mm. you know, so I'm just going to be doing maybe two every week here and there until... I figure out what else I want to do. Congratulations. Black people are getting money. Yes. That's what I like to hear. Tell me. Listen, as always, if you listen to this podcast, what? Hello, what? Oh, John, my fault. No, God damn. John been over here quiet as hell. Trying to hold John. down white people. That's cool. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, good. No, I get it. We treat John like a black woman in here. He's yeah, invisible. that's cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Like a black f- female sports reporter. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Shit. I'm used to it. I'm a I'm a comedy tourist in Baltimore and DC. The rest of the year, internjohncomedy.com. You can follow me, intern John Radio. Hey, yeah. I'm gonna check you out because I like comedy. I'm really I love good. I'm comedy. You are lit. Yeah. I like really that. Good. I love yeah, really good. It's good shit. As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the brand <laughs> of this podcast. Thank you for listening. Hey, all you binge watchers out there, uh, I know when you sit down to binge watch your favorite TV shows or catch up on the newest episodes of your favorite shows, uh, I, I know you like to have a snack, right? And what's better than Ben and Jerry's? Okay, cozy up with your favorite flavor available anywhere ice cream is sold or find a new favorite at BenJerry.com. You know, you can try that half baked that Wayno likes. All right. So you can sit on your couch, binge watch your favorite show, eat ice cream and think about Wayno. All right. That's B-E-N-J-E-R-R-Y dot com. 